God. Oh, oh shit. Oh god, oh shit. Okay, that's it. <laughs> okay. Ah. Ugh. Yikes. Okay. I like how I don't even have a thing, like a countdown thing, like you see with other live streams. You know, we just we just straight into it. <laughs> I'm almost I'm almost tempted, actually. Jesus Christ, do I even have sound? You know what? I might as well. I might as well take the time. Take the time to do some sound testing and shit. Ugh. Okay. Also, right, I'm almost, uh, almost tempted, almost tempted to start every live stream, every video with the Macho Man intro, you know, where he goes like, nothing means nothing. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid. But, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's like, <laughs> you remember that? You remember that interview, that crazy interview where he just goes into the screen does, does some magic tricks with freaking like yogurt thingies and <laughs> he's just spinning around like an idiot and he starts off the interview with it with like nothing means nothing and as if it's like the most profound thing ever god i love it god i love it but anyway <laughs> okay so <laughs> while we're here we might as well start off with some i don't know logistics management oh and by the way by the way I do believe that so far I only have um, three hours as of now, like put into this game. Oh, what can I actually craft here? I want to craft some um, extra. What do you call this? Extra thingies, thingies. What do you call this thingies? Strength bombs, strength bombs. Yeah, yeah. That's what I. That's what I was talking about. I. But oh, sh actually, I don't think I even have. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Actually, no, I don't. I have the recipe. I don't have the ingredients yet. I need sleep herbs. God damn it. Okay. Anyway, and then how about how about the um, shark traps? Well, I can make one. I can make one pitfall trap. You know what? I'll make one of these. Right. I don't want to make a pitfall trap just yet because I don't think I need it. So anyway, while we are, you know, we're contemplating what we need in terms of supplies. Let's just go ahead and get started with the next quest in line i think right we are uh, uh let's go to the canteen we are up next to fight anjanath because i've already played like a few hours it says although it says three hours in the save file hey there, two hours of those were just me spending time trying to get the angle for the um the thumbnail of this live stream <laughs> just... okay so doesn't count i've only played the intro so far right the intro and ah see i haven't even hunted a puke puke quite yet so let's do this let's do that and i don't think i want to spend some tickets yet anyway let's just get on with it yeah so we'll just do this hunt first not meat platter is that really all that i have right now okay sure sure i'll take it doesn't even give me hp i, I think i'll just prefer the ones that give me some hp and attack um well i guess not can't have all of it i guess this is the only option that we have sure why not i'll take it i'll take it so yeah by the way welcome <laughs> to the um 100 hour challenge so we're three hours technically two hours but sure sure I, i'll count the extra three hours of me trying to pose around for the thumbnail i'll count that i'll count that so what i want to do is essentially treat this like it was like i was trying to speed run i guess is that fair is that fair because i'm trying to get to um get enough room for myself to be able to get all the way up to the guiding lands because i've never been to the guiding lands ever not yet at least i have in my main or my first save file of this game jesus christ the game is really dark isn't it or is it the appropriate amount of darkness maybe we can adjust the brightness a bit it's going to be an absolute nightmare during the daytime <laughs> once we get to it but oh well Let's adjust their brightness a little bit more. There we go. Hopefully this doesn't kill your eyeballs. Once the sun comes up, and there we go. That's slightly better. Marginally so. 
Anyway. Hold on, hold on. I can't believe I didn't go to the other camp that's up north. Do I even have that set up yet? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Hold on, let me check. Yep, I do not have that camp set up yet. It's supposed to be over here. I have this one set up. That's fine. But I think I have yet to finish the prerequisites to get there. Oh well, never mind then. Never mind. We'll get we'll get to it when we get to it. Oh, and by the way, remember this spot. Remember this spot when you're early game. You know how in the map it says right. There's a bitter bug in the minimap right now. What you do here is that technically it's on the level up, right? So what you do is equip your net and then you cast it because it's over there. See, see those uh, little scout flies glowing up there. Usually you would have to go around here over yonder that way, go around to the second level just to be able to catch that. But from here, oh shit, watch out. God damn it. I'm trying to. <laughs> Try to be educational here, you sons of bitches. Can we? Okay, you know what? Screw you. Let me get the buffs. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. Can I get the um, buffs? Can I get the buffs? The instant buffs? Yeah, yep, got it. Okay. There we go. I scared them off. Right, right, right. So, you want to get that thing, right? But you want to, um,. You can get it just with the net because it's a bit of a bug, so you don't have to go all the way around out of your way to pick it up. Oh, and by the way, if you hear a dog barking outside, I have no control of that whatsoever. It is the neighbor's dog. Don't at me. So technically, you can catch it from here. See? That just about reaches if you hug this side of the um, wall. So that's fine. That's fine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're going after... Okay, I'm going after Puke Puke. I do not actually want to go through here. Stand is a big pain in the ass. I want to go go through this side, actually. Over here. Yeah, yeah. Technically a shortcut. I guess it's not showing up on my map because I haven't actually walked through here yet. Okay, let's see now. God, this rain is um This rain is um I mean it's not the best, it's not ideal, right? But I like it, I like it. It's atmospheric, it's atmospheric is what it is. Okay, what did he actually- Oh shit, that is so good, that is so good. Flame that? No, never going to use that. Ah, oh, we don't intend on using bow guns. It'll be fine. So we just want to pick up as many or as much resources as we can along the way because this is the early game and you really want to do that. Um, just so you don't have to, you know, go out of your way to do some farming when you find yourself in need of that stuff. So yeah. So anyway, oh and by the way, we're here to learn about, you know, well at least I am. That's the whole point of this challenge. I'm here to learn and hopefully master. Oh hello, it's Yangus. Do we want to? We want to. I don't. I feel like I don't want to waste time at the moment. I will just go to here and pick up this bone bo bone 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 English bone pal along the way. Just because yeah, I got all three ancient bolts. What the hell? <laughs> That's lucky. Anyway, I don't want to bother Jaggy at the moment. I don't think I have any need for Jaggy's parts. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. I mean, how long would it take me? How long would it take me realistically, right? Realistically. Okay, maybe, maybe. If it was along the way, I mean, I might I might go for it. Okay, so anyway, want to find Pookie Pookie. He usually hangs around up north-ish of the map. Oh my god, I don't even have any tracks of him. There we go. Can we get more? Oh, oh, useful. Antidote herbs. We need those, we need those. We're going to be spamming a bunch of antidotes <laughs> during this fight. If I get hit, that is. Did we find him? No. I'm not showing up on the map, which is unfortunate. Uh, more tracks, more tracks. I guess I just have to follow this uh, scum fly trail. Hold on. Let me just clear my nose. Oh my god. Oh, by the way, I'm still, I'm kind of sick at the moment. So if you think... 
my voice sounds weird all nasally. That's the reason. Did we find him? Okay, he's all the way back there. I sure, sure thing. Okay, buddy. Time to face the music. He's... How the hell did we miss him, by the way? We were just... What? Okay, then. I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> just... How... how the hell did I even... Okay, never mind. Never mind. I don't even want to think about it. All the way there. Oh, by the way. Before I forget... Have I already even done the thing here? Like, acquired the um, quest to do this? I can't actually remember. If the hunter does a dialogue thing. Yep. I haven't been here yet. Needed to make sure. So there we go. But anyway. So since Jaggy isn't, you know, particularly hostile. We will leave him alone. Go on our merry way to find Pookie Pico. Uh, oh, by the way, by the way, this is something I just realized. Like, I I did a little bit of um time experimenting with the Insoglave in the practice tool or practice room. Yep, yep. Apparently, you can charge this thing if you have Slinger ammo, like I do right now, which is the um, you know, uh, torch thing. You know, the burning rocks, and you press there to try and get. You need to do this as long as you have low stinger ammo to load it with. And then, what you want to do, you always want to open up using the um, kin sack to hit the head so that you get that number one buff, right? The number one buff is the most crucial, by the way. Why? Because. It pretty much changes all of your attack to like the more, uh, let's say, empowered versions of it. Oh, there we go. How the hell did I not get flinched <laughs> by that? I don't know. See, again, I don't know how I managed to avoid getting flinched by that, but oh well. Ooh. Oh shit. Get to the tail, and that is not the tail. Whatever, never mind. We'll deal with it. Okay, okay, okay. Watch out, watch out. Right now, I just want to focus on his tail part. Oh, by the way, before I forget. Oh my god. What the? Are you, did you? What? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, that is, I can't, am I, am I tripping here, that is, that has to be the first time I've heard that sound effect, that farting sound effect, in so much detail, I, a what, I can't be the only one, right, what, oh shit, missed, missed, where is he going, where is he going, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. Let me get a potion. Let me get a potion, Drew. Oh shit. Oh well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. back up. Okay, he's no longer enraged. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. We needed an antidote for that. And the girl was for this. Oh, shit, son of a bitch. Okay, that's just rude. That is just rude. Oh my god, we lost the buff. That's the Kinsick buff. Okay, so I really need to remind myself, right? To um invest in the power prolonger skill ability thing. Because that that Kinsick buff does not last 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 very long, unfortunately. God damn it. Ah. Oh. Okay. I, I like how we didn't actually manage to accomplish much <laughs> as I'm trying to explain everything. Not a big deal though. Not a big deal. Hopefully he can stick around this location while we get the sick buff. Okay buddy. 
Okay, buddy, I want the head part. I want the head part. No, 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 I missed. God damn it. What? Get okay, okay, stop it. Stop it. Can we go for the head, please? Go for the head. Ouch. Not again. Jesus Christ, I'm going to faint already. Ooh. Ooh, shit. Watch it. Watch it. Okay. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh no, we cancelled that. Fuck, fudge. Okay, how do I... See, this is the problem that I, you know, encounter with this weapon, right? You have your kinsec that you want to, you know, play around with, I guess. But, the problem with it is, is that you want to do this whole charging thing, right? Just to get the most out of it. Which is hard to do when... The the, the the weapon itself has moves and everything that makes you want to just fly around and be mobile and stuff. Right? It's not I it's not ideal. To be honest. I don't like that part. Oh son of a bitch, asshole. Why did he aggro all of a sudden? It's not supposed to it's not supposed to happen, I don't think. Huh. Okay. Okay, there we go. We managed to get it. Right. Okay, I think we need to actually focus on this. <laughs> hold on, hold on here. There we go. Ah! Oh, there we go. Ice clagger. Oh shit! I keep forgetting. That's not how you want to. That's not how you actually whip out the um, claw while you're in weapon mode. Damn, this is a lot of parts on the ground. Oh boy, oh boy. See, we're not accomplishing much. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. I feel like I'm focusing way too much on getting the um, Kinsec buff properly. It's not... Uh, <laughs> it's not... I don't, it doesn't feel optimized the way I'm doing it. Maybe? Maybe we need to try a different approach, right? Maybe we just need to not focus on it nearly as much. Because I feel like we are... That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Whoa, 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 Okay. Okay. Close. And... Okay. Wasn't close. Okay, here we go. Ah, oh my god, I got poisoned. Immediately. That's annoying. Oh well. Oh, at least now I got, you know, all three buffs. But unfortunately, all three buffs are about to wear off. <laughs> Oh my god, this thing is really hard to control, by the way. Ooh. Oh, hold on. What did I... Huh. Oh, well. Oh, there we go. We got the tail. Eh, didn't take long, I guess. Hold on. Can we attack the head, please? I'm pretty sure that's meant to hit the head. Oh, well. Let's try this again. Try this again. See, I'm trying to get the hang of it, right? There we go. You can use the um, left click with the thing to make the Kinsec attack on its own. If it's, you know, conveniently positioned. What the hell am I even doing here? Conveniently positioned. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop, 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 stop. Pause, pause. Okay? Pause. We need to um, get Stinger ammo. We need to get... Oh, Jesus Christ, the creep. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Oh, whoa, whoa. Watch yourself, buddy. Do this, and I think that hits. Yeah, yeah, and that hits. That hits. Ooh, ooh, hello. Okay, I'm not about to um, play with that. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Now he's enraged. Here we go. We need that. Uh, shit. We need that hand device because... Oh, no, no, no. Try to dodge that. My mistake. Ooh, dodge it. Ooh, there we go. Huh. Okay, hopefully Rathalos doesn't... Uh, screw with us. Oh, well. <laughs> that was an accident. Okay, then. 
I'll take it though. Ah, I mean, I guess I can't complain. Okay. Deal big damage here. Big damage. Okay, now get out of the way. Ooh. Oh, watch yourself, watch yourself. This is not an ideal position to be in. Oh, wait, 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 Rados, Masiro. How convenient. Okay, buddy. Let's try this again. What? Whoa, what? Hey! Okay, I was not expecting that. <laughs> not expecting that. Um, shit. Oh, wait, before I forget, before I forget. I think I'm supposed to be on. Did I? Yeah. I'm supposed to, um, get food buffs again because we might as well. We might as well. I hate that the highest. You know, stat buff we can get is S. Sure, we'll take this thing. Don't get any HP bonuses, which is unfortunate, but... Oh well. We'll take what we can. Jesus Christ, I can't believe I got one shot by Rathalos. That was unfortunate. Okay then. Let's see, let's try this again. Uh, there we go. This thing. If we encounter some small monsters along the way, I think it's worth trying to get my thing off on them. Like, we're here for instance. Yep, this guy. There we go. See? <laughs> Very useful. Okay, okay. Let's find the thing. Let's find the guy. Do we go through here, actually? Maybe? I think this is the correct path. Yeah, yeah, he's over here. He's over here. No? Right here, maybe? Ah, there he is, there he is. Hey, buddy. Okay, I think that's going to hit. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes, it does hit. And there we go. Okay, big damage. Okay, kind of missed. Ooh, ooh. Okay, now he's running again. Ah, come on, we just started, buddy. Please. Oh, hello. What am I? Scout flies, come on. Stop distracting me. Stop distracting me. I'm trying to work here, okay? Let's find some more useful stuff. Okay, okay, we just missed a smoke nut there. That, I think, is going to be useful for fire casters. Can I have that? There we go. Thank you. There we go. Firecasters are kind of useful, right? Sometimes, most of the time. Yeah. God damn it. Like, the Kinsic buff does not last very long. I, I wonder if that changes the higher we get, you know, upgrades to the thing. It's very convenient that we can pick up the buff anyway from these guys, so that's a bonus. Okay. We got the vines. Yep. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So one thing I need to remember is uh, I need to find like a trick, a strategy, I guess, to be able to fight this guy, right? I guess one of the first steps to doing it is to just release the Kinsec and just let it do its thing, I guess. Hey buddy, it's about time I mounted you. There we go. <laughs> Oh my god, the rat is here again. Please do not one-shot me. For the love of god. For the love of god, please don't one-shot me. <laughs> Hopefully he goes away. <sighs> okay, I think he's gone, by the way. I think he's gone. You know, I just... I just remembered. We, we lost this guy's tail somewhere along the way. I think we need to actually get that back just in case, right? Just in case we accidentally kill this thing way too quickly, even though we're not using defender weapons, it's still a distinct possibility, right? Because, like, I mean, look at us. We are cooking this guy right now. Two and three. This should hit. There we go. Yep. Okay, there we go. 
Oh. Ah, okay. Like, I like how technically we're dealing like big damage to him. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, I think I want to tenderize this chest area. Okay. Okay. That's what I mean when I said we run the risk of killing this guy too quickly. Because <laughs> I don't think we even gave him a chance to limp back to his, you know, nest and, sit and shit. He just kind of died. But I don't even think I even saw the um, skull emoji that would usually come out of his, you know, icon in the minimap. I forgot that. And we also are, I think I'm not going to be able to reach the tail in time. Oh, uh, that is sad. That makes me sad. I don't think we're going to reach it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, technically it's not my fault. It's not my fault, okay? We got one shot by the Rathalos. How, how, how the hell do I even predict that from happening? How do I even stop that? Okay, okay. Okay, 10 seconds. Am I going to make it? Nope, nope. I don't think I'm going to make it. Please! No. Ah, shit, no, we missed it. We missed it. God damn it. It's right there, too. Oh, no. That's a shame. Ugh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. It's a shame, too, because here's the thing, here's the thing. Pretty much in general. This is my from my personal experience. Okay, I hate that we get negative reward money. Just because we accidentally got one shot. From personal experience, I feel like the best elements to go for, just You've just blindly, well. just blindly, is blast and poison, up. right? All right it's time to begin Those the feel like are sure us. You know you okay, do. shut up, Commander. Let me so just... Now we need to okay, the let's just... Let's okay, fine, fine. The I'll let you guys talk. Waste. I'll let you guys talk. <laughs> okay, so let me get back to what I was saying. I feel like blast and poison are as close to... The universal elements, the most universal elements as you can get to. Okay, I feel like it's too bright now. We can lower it down. The most universal elements that you can have in this game, because I don't think I've encountered a monster that they didn't work on. Even if it's not, you know, as effective, right? Because, because, I mean, other monsters, if you don't have the particular weapon or element suited to that monster, Chances are they're still going to be susceptible to blast and or poison, right? Okay, where am I supposed to go? Workshop, workshop. I want to check out if we can start crafting armor. Like, a change of armor because I want to be able to get more defense, hopefully. Okay, let's start with armor. We've managed to pick up a few bones. Oh, hello. Boys, best poet male. Is this is this useful for us? Quick sheet. Quick sheet is kind of nah, nah. Not particularly useful. Okay, so definitely we can go for bone. Oh my god, this is all of this is pretty much useful compared to what am I what I'm wearing now. Okay. Two defense versus six defense and abilities for one. So what I want is the helmet, sure. Upper, sure. Gloves, sure. In terms of lower um, the waist and the legs, I mean, if it's just for defense, maybe, maybe. Dagger skull, I don't think that's particularly useful either. Speed crawler, not useful either. Botanist, nope, nope. Barbecue master, <laughs> definitely nope. Okay, okay. I have a few choices here. Paralysis resistance. I, I, I don't know if and when that would ever be useful for us. I'll keep it in mind though. The, the Puke, Puke griefs though. Um, I don't. I think I want to reserve the resources for the weapons for now. For now, I want to finish these three parts, and then have them equipped. Okay, there we go. So, at least we can get a bit more defense. There we go, defense here, defense there. We get, Jesus Christ, I just realized how useful 
all of these three abilities are. That's health boost, yes, that is attack boost, and this is slugger, which allows you to KO slightly better. <laughs> it's, just, it's actually not that I think, of it, I think about it. It is kind of OP, really, <laughs> really good. Okay, Horn Maestro, we're never going to use that, so if we just want Prudifs, but this thing gives us more resistance, so I think I guess fire. This gives us negative fire, which won't be useful against Anjana, so I think all in all, like in terms of stats, Bone technically wins out, right? So I guess I might as well take this, even though the skills aren't useful to me, so... I mean, yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, there we go. Also, because in terms of resources... Oh, uh, and those are nice texture glitches. <laughs> That's what I get for having mods, okay? Okay, let's go to the weapons. Forge. Um, let's see upgrade path for weapons. Do we get poison? See, we miss we're missing poison sack. We're missing at least one. Monster bone, Jesus Christ. Where do we even find that? I just pick that up or Okay, maybe I need to do a thing. So this thing we can upgrade definitely. Okay, we're missing a lot of stuff. We're missing poison sacks. Okay, so the next hunt, if we ever come across, you know, speed boost. Ah, huh, interesting. Kinsir bonus. If we ever come across another, another Puke Puke along the way, I'll make sure to kill him. <laughs> then, <laughs> yeah, because we definitely want that poison element. That's going to be very, very useful. Okay. Have that upgraded. Do I have resources for this? No, I do not. Hmm. Monster bone. If I get... If I get monster bone. If I find another bone pile, sure, sure, I'll take it. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. What about Palico? Can I make anything for you? No, not yet. Iron sword. Is this useful? I mean, I look, I look cool. <laughs> There's that. Ooh! Ooh, hello. I can give him a cool sword, though. Hmm. I mean, it's only worth one scale. I mean, you, you might as well. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This one is useful, but I don't know if I want to... Uh, uh, commit the resources just yet. Just yet. Something that we won't miss, I think, will probably... And I guess this is the best one. Just give him a cooler weapon. Sure, why not? Why not? And then give him the armor too. Equip, and then the armor because I don't think we'll be finding much use for Malachite or anytime soon. There we are. There we are. Equip that. Puke, puke. No. Fine. Good. Right. Got my set. The cat's got the set. <laughs> the Moadib. Oh, the Nissan al Okay. Okay, okay, I, I don't need to be here. It's fine. It's fine. Let's move on. Move on, move on, move on. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I still need to check if we um, can upgrade the um, Kinsek. Yeah, that reminds me. Let's see. Manage Kinsek. Nurture. Sure. Can we upgrade you into anything else? Yes, technically. We're still missing some of that stuff. Boulder Bone. Poison. Sure. Do we want poison or heal? I think I want poison for now. Okay, okay. We are good to go. Next quest. Uh, let's see now. Assigned. And what's this? What's this supposed to be? Oh, Waldspire. Ah, I see now. I th oh shit. I, I probably should not have done that. Force of habit. Jesus Christ, I'm stupid. <laughs> Right, whatever, whatever, we'll deal with it. Okay then, uh, let's get some food. Okay, let's get some food. Pay money, pay money. Can we get HP bonus? It's not really helpful, but I guess HP bonus is worth it. Take it anyway. You seem to have a thing about you. Do you have anything to... um? No, 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 no. We're good to go. We're good to go. Let's just... Let's fly. Let's fly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
check items before we go. This way, keep the max potion, sure, bitter bug, up with you, flashbot, herb, and we stop. There we go. Good to go. Good to go. Right. Let's go. I really feel like I should have gotten the, um, okay. Okay, give me a second here. I need to drink some water. Yeah, while well, this cutscene plays. Ah, refreshing. Uh, okay. Refreshing. Got it. Very nice. Shame we can't skip the cutscene though. I think I remember this. this What's going on here? What? Get us now, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever. We have fire herbs, not useful. Guide us there safely, partner. I think there is a... There we go. Might see it. Yes. Yes, useful. Useful. Oh, God. <clears throat> Cassie. What else do we need to do? One thing's for sure. The environment here is completely One thing's for sure is that I need to get ahead of you. Yes. Slightly. A bit. One of the things that's going to show up here, if I remember correctly, is... Our first encounter of uh, Rathian, Rathian, which I believe, there we go, bitter bug, is going to be useful. Which I believe, if we are good enough, right? That is a big if. Hey, look, a waterfall. <laughs> if the we are good enough, we can kill it. We can kill it, right? Areas, we can fight that liar. thing. Oh, I'm great. certain we will have we'll the time. Now. Okay, no, 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 don't have time for that. Ah, um, do we want to climb up here? I mean, sure, we have the time. Okay, there we go. That's going to be useful. Not going to be useful. Okay, Ivy. Yes, take it, take it. We need that for a certain stuff. Honey, sure. Look at that. <laughs> I like how we climb it's all the way up here. Beetle? Yes, for honey. The wildlife here are quite resilient creatures. <laughs> they have adapted excellently to okay. dry climate. Moving on. Even the plants have learned to survive. The fruit scattered throughout the area. Hello, has a buddy. Shell that helps retain moisture. Touch bug. Um, I think it is at this part. Is this nope? Not useful. Honey, sure, I'll take it. We might encounter the Brathian. At this part? No, he's not here, huh? Not quite. <laughs> Interesting. I want to kill it <laughs> as soon as we can find it. But these guys are taking their goddamn time with it, aren't they? Guys, guys. No, 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 do not take a break. Do not take a break, for the love of God. That's where we'll find what we came for. Okay, but okay. We still have a ways to go. Well, on certainly we go. Certainly do. Certainly do. God. Yeah, why am I still... What? Okay, this is unfortunate. I am stuck in a... Cutscene walking animation. What the hell? Game. <laughs> why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Just let me... Let me... Let me freaking play the game. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Do we find the Rathian now? Hello, Mr. Rathian. Going to show up anytime soon? No? Oh, there he is. Okay, there he is. The kind jump scared me. Come on, part. I need you over here. What? There he is. Yep, I see him. Yagi sounds like a slur, but anyway, <laughs> let's kill this guy. Ah, oh, come on. Wait, stop what I want to do. 
No, 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 do not run. Do not run. We want to fight this thing. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. We actually want to fight this thing. Okay, okay. If I can just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch it, watch it. Don't want to get hit with that tail. That is a guaranteed poison. And we are out of stamina. God damn it. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thought so. Not as much. Okay. Let me try this again. Okay. Ah, come on. I just, I just, I hate when he does that waddle move where he does this, where he just runs back and forth like an idiot. And you can't do shit about it because the hitbox of it is bullshit. Especially if he does the thing where he runs into a wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And hardly any telegraph to, you know, because screw me. Okay, let's do this. Oh my god. I really miss having speed eating. <sighs> okay, okay, buddy. Okay, now he's enraged. That's going to be a problem. Buddy, come back to me. There we go. Didn't heal for much. <laughs> it's fine though. Oh, come on, don't run now. God damn it. God damn it. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to follow you. Oh, screw it. Could you shut the hell up? <laughs> no, no, no. Not interested. Stop whipping my camera around. Please. This is sleeper. No, this is not sleeper. How did I think about it? Probably should. I think it's worth going here and seeing if we can get rations so we don't have to cook barbecue for myself. Still, where's this thing? There we go. What the hell are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be? What? Okay. Okay, weird. <laughs> Isn't she supposed to be with the caravan? What the hell? Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, yes, he is going to be hard to kill. Thank you, Kyrian. He is going to be hard to kill. Not so much if I defend defender weapons or guardian weapons, but the point is, the point is, I'm not going to miss this opportunity because I am kind of looking towards, you know, kind of speed running this thing. Okay, that round with him. Can I get a mount or something? I want a mount. There we go. It's going to be hard to kill, but not impossible. So I think we'll be fine, right? Because there are certain things you just have to remember when dealing with these things is number one, we kind of have to prioritize his tail if and when at all possible because his tail is, okay, one of the biggest threats. Yeah, speaking of, there we go. There we go. Kill damage to the tail. The tail is his kind of biggest threat other than the fireballs, right? Ah, shit. Other than the fireballs, I can't. I keep forgetting. You can't just go into claw mode like pressing the button kind of while with the weapon. Okay, okay. We have this. Almost forgot to do this. There we go. Whoa, watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Careful. It's not what I wanted to do. Can we? Okay, okay. I think we can smack him into a wall here. If we can even find a wall close enough. Here we go. Three. That's good enough. Come here. Over here. Okay. Let's see what he does. There we go. That's an opening. Oh no. He's doing this thing again. I hate that move. Come here. There we go. Do this. And we can knock him out of the sky. There. Big damage. Good. Good. Uh, I need to remember to um to um tenderize this tail by the way before I forget. There we go. Right, right, watch out. Okay, that's his mouth on fire. Oh shit! <laughs> Let's see what kind of Zora <laughs> Okay. <laughs> God 
damn it. <laughs> I tried to dodge it with the jump. <laughs> Shit, I can't even get food buffs right now. Uh, right, right. We just get back right into it. It's fine, it's fine. It's a good thing that this is technically a main quest because it, the fun thing about okay, we need to find a way to shut the handler up for these kinds of things, right? I need to find some kind of mod for that <laughs> at some point. He's going to do that, by the way. She's going to do that. I mean, for as long as every five minutes, or rather every thirty seconds, she's going to keep reminding me about Zora Magos while we're trying to fight this guy. It's going to be annoying, right? Oh shit, that's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. Yep. Okay, okay. There we go. Managed to dodge it. Ooh! Ooh! Oh shit! Uh, what the hell did I just do there? I... What? I didn't... What? I did not know I could do that. I t okay, okay. We learned something new. This. Start the Kinsec. There we go. Okay, watch out. Thank god that is not the um, triple thing. Um, I forget. Like, this thing. Okay, here we go. See what I'm talking about? He's yapping her mouth off. Every 30 minutes. It's so annoying. Okay, go back. There we go. One more. No, no, no. We are stamina. Out of stamina. Out of stamina. Woo! That's not a mount. Okay. Okay. Okay, fire. Let's do this then. One. Two. And three. And then knock him into the tree. There. Ooh, nice. Nice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, please. There. That's a better target. Um... Okay, he knocked me out of the sky with a war, that's annoying. He's going to fly away, I think. No, you don't! No, no, that doesn't... Ah, goddammit. I was hoping, I was hoping that would work. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. <laughs> fine, right fine. Oh, before we forget. Let's pick up the tail. Shut up, please, Handler. We get it, we get it. Trying to hunt a freaking dragon here. Oh, I missed that uh, Paratoad, actually. That would have been useful during the fight. Huh. Oh, well. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. Before I forget, before I forget, while we are on the way, um, I think, okay, okay. Let's not forget. I'm pretty sure uh, we have the camp. See that thing on the minimap there? That little alcove, right? Is it that the underground one that is technically the camp? I might be wrong. I might be wrong because I'm pretty sure there is an entrance somewhere along here. If we just stick to the right side. Or am I mistaken? I think it's... Yeah, I think it might be... Not this one. No, not this one. Oh, somewhere, somewhere here. There it is. There it is. That's the opening. That's the opening. Before I forget. So, and um, okay, okay, okay. We can do this. Into the wall you go. There. That is the wrong ammo. I am actually stupid. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Ouch, 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 ouch. Stop it, stop it. Oof, there we go. Oof, okay. Oh, dodge that. We need slinger ammo. We need slinger ammo. This is not a deal. We are missing an opportunity here. Shut up, handler, please. She's going to drive me insane. I swear to God. I swear to God, I hate her. Come here, come here, buddy. Okay, is this enough? There, I think I have enough stamina for this. Here we go. Okay, okay. Ah. There, big damage. Big damage. Big damage. And there we go. 
There we go. Now she's in reach. Ah, we couldn't dodge it. Couldn't dodge the thing. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Huh. Can't believe that mount worked. Oh. Out of the way. Oh, keep stabbing. I like the part where this might be the only weapon, right? Where she does that, where the hunter does that. He deals, she deals damage along the will while you're moving across parts. It's actually so cool <laughs> that you can do that. Okay, buddy. Whoa, 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 I'm bad. I'm bouncing off. That's not ideal. Okay, okay. Shut up, handler. Please. Oof. Okay, okay. Dodge it. Oh shit! No, 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 no. We cannot afford to get one shot at this point. Um. Okay. So, how do I deal with the situation? Nice damage. How do I actually deal with the situation? I really need to sharpen. Oh no, he's leaving. Well, thank God. Thank God. <laughs> uh. Right, right, right. Okay, it's fine then. It's fine. We are good to go. Good to go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Again, again, before I forget. We can technically take a shortcut here while unlocking the thing for our uh, extra camp. Extra camp. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, Karen. It's... Please, handler, handler. I will, I will kill you. <laughs> you shut up, <laughs> silly woman. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. The camp's already set up. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. So we don't actually need to. We didn't need to do a quest or something. It's already set up here. I don't. I don't actually remember that being a thing. Let's see what kind of present Zora Magdros has left for us. Usually, usually, you need to do a quest or something, and or deliver a thing before you unlock an an extra camp uh, along the map. I didn't realize. Oh, huh, that might be an exception. Where the hell is this Rathalos? Oh, Rathian. I mean, okay, it's all the way out there. Oh, hello, bone pile. Thank you very, very much. Okay. Boulder bone. I yeah, yeah. Let's so, see what kind of yes. <laughs> there we go. Right on cue. Right on cue. The god, oh, god damn it. It's unfortunate that which she's going to No 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 no. If we walk up here, it's going to trigger the um, main quest cutscene. This is not ideal. Not ideal. Oh my god, we're going to have to deal with it. We're going to have to deal with it. Might as well. No, 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 shit, I do not want to waste the max potion. Just yet. And we don't have stinger ammo. Can we find... I'm pretty sure there's a stone thing in here. Just pick that up along the way. Let's see what kind of present Zora okay, okay, we get it. You know, spoiler alert, the present Zora Mag Magdarosa stuff for us is a giant pile of shit. <laughs> How long have I been live? Less than an hour. Less than an hour. This is the um, second oh, thing. Me first. Eureka. This is straight out of that Godzilla scene. You know, remember that? Remember that? Where Steve Goldblum is just. That's a huge pile of shit. Yeah, this is exactly. This is exactly that scene. Speaking of which. Speaking of which, this has to be my favorite cutscene, by the way. This is an actually cool, cool action scene right here, where we get the slow mo, the angle, right, and the eyeball shot. Watch this! Watch this! Watch this! Straight, straight out of an action movie. Look at that! Badass! Right into the eyeballs. Oh. <laughs> uh. Imagine if we can actually do that in-game, right? 
if you can just shoot them in the eyeballs and it flinches them into a wall. Huh. Lava dragon. Oh, oh. Oh, you have no idea. You have no idea. Lava dragon is the bane of everyone's existence. Especially for speedrunners. Yep. That was up. I was not expecting to come out this guy so soon. But oh well, we'll take it. Oh shit. Watch it. Watch yourself. Okay, can we just stand still so that I can get the thing off on you? Okay, okay. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Fall down. Fall down. There we go. There we go. No, 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 no. Ah, can't do it the wrong part. I want to do it to the tail. Ooh. Okay, see, that's annoying. That's annoying. See, this has to be one of the only annoying parts of these, this tenderized mechanic, right? When you have something like, oh no, I'm going to get hit here. Okay. <laughs> Dodge. Thank you. The annoying parts of the uh, tenderized mechanic, because you have this guy here, but you will just bounce off of him no matter what, right? Unless you tenderize parts of his body. It's really, really annoying, and I wish Capcom hadn't implemented it like that. Like, anything else would have, wouldn't have been better, except for the tenderized mechanic the way it is. <sighs> okay, he's going to run now. Well, he's enraged. Uh, Enraged. I don't think it's going to run. Ah, that's so goddamn annoying. He, how many times do I have to bounce off of this? Son of a bitch. Right? Like, do I have to tenderize every single part of this guy? Seriously. Okay. Uh, it doesn't help, I think, that... Uh, Insect Clip is one of those lighter weapons. Right? Okay. Oh, watch out. Watch out. Very cool. Oh, thank you. Good I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay. It's... Kinsek Live is one of those lighter weapons that you can't get a full tenderized on him if you just um, claw shot onto a thing. You kind of need to do some kind of special move. But something like... What do I call this? Um, what do I... The sword and shield, the sword and shield thing, right? The sword and shield, you have the um, claw uppercut that allows you to sort of tenderize the thing, the part of the monster, kind of like a larger weapon would be able to do as well. Oh shit, no, I'm going to faint again. Son of a bitch. Rock T-Rex is sometimes annoying. The biggest problem really is the bounce off mechanic. That has to be the number one criticism I have of the um, claw tenderized mechanic. Because everything else, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Slim slinger mechanic, love it. Excellent. Wonderful. Claw mechanic where you flinch him into the wall and move him around. It's fine too, okay, I guess. You could use a bit of tweaking. The worst part, the absolute worst part, is the fact that for some monsters, especially for this Barrels guy, right? What you have to do is you have to tenderize certain parts of their body just so you don't bounce off, regardless of how sharp your weapon is. It is egregious. <laughs> oh my god, it's... It is... I, that's something I really, really hope they don't bring back. They don't bring back for... Hunter Wilds, right? From Monster Hunter Wilds. Which we will be talking about in a bit right after we kill this guy. Okay. Okay, buddy. Here. Here. Here's a glaive. Does it hit the head? Nope. Does not hit the head. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. This one and two and whew, there we go. Do we? Okay, we already got a tail. We're going for the head this time. There we go. Combo that. Big damage. Big damage. And 
Ooh. Let's go through art. Okay, there we go. I wonder how much health this guy has. We've already done a number on him. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a mistake. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't believe he just missed that. Oh, with that tail, I forgot. Okay. 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 Watch it. Watch it. Okay, so I guess this is one of the advantages of the um, insect glaive is that we can sort of match him when he's in the air. Yeah, see? There we go. That's something. Progress of a kind. Ah, oh, shit, there we go. See? I'm bouncing off again. He's going to go. Um, the final boss. Which final boss are we talking about? Are we talking about uh, Zeno Jiva or the um, Shara Ishvada? Because, I mean, in terms of, you know, uh, I guess design and in terms of the fight. I actually think I prefer Shara Ishvalda over Zeno Jiva. Just because I feel like there's a lot more a lot more to have, a lot more mechanics to consider when it comes to Shara Ishvalda. Zeno Jiva seems feels far, far too simplified for what he is. Which is you know which is weird that <laughs> the final boss of this game, which is great, one of the greatest games that I've ever played, despite my criticisms is so underwhelming. I'm going to sub to you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Martin. I appreciate that so much. Yeah, so... Okay. He just uh, flew off. We need to monitor. Is he going to stay damage. here, or is he going to fly to his... I think he's flying to his cave. Which is a good sign. It's just a good sign, I think. Because sometimes when they do that, uh, it's kind of an indication of how low their HP is, right? Because they need to sleep. Um, I only have ML. Monster Hunter World. Oh, you don't have Iceborne yet. Huh, I mean, that's fine. That's fine. You can wait for yourself. That's that's kind of what I did. <laughs> how I how we got this game in the first place. I only found it about what last last year around November ish, right? And I just randomly found it on sale. So I picked up Monster Hunter World, right? It was on sale for like 40, 50 ish percent, which was a, an absolute steal, by the way. And then I bought Monster Hunter World without getting Iceborne yet. And then, and then around the time, uh, say late November, around December, the trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds comes out. And incredibly conveniently, <laughs> Capcom decided, you know what? We're going to capitalize on this. We're going to have a whole marketing campaign, like the whole return to Monster Hunter World. So what they did is that they put both Monster Hunter World and Iceborne and Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter, English Monster Hunter Rise and Sunbreak all on sale for 40% a piece. So I basically got this game, which would have costed me a whole lot of money for half off, right? And the amount of... The amount of time, the amount of, the amount of, let's say, man hours that I put into this game, for how much that I spent it, spent on it, absolutely worth, <laughs> absolutely worth. Hopefully, hopefully, Wilds could can live up to the to the hype. Honestly, honestly. Okay. How do we actually? It's ah, I should have brought some barrels along with me. That's unfortunate. Okay, bomb pods, useful. Maybe we can wake him up with bomb pods. That didn't deal a whole lot of damage, actually. <laughs> okay, we can do this. Do this. Oh shit, no, 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 no. Not like that. I'm going to faint again, yep. Thought so. You're a great YouTuber. I... You don't... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. How did I fail that quest? What? Oh well. Try too hard. At least we got some parts out of it. So I guess we're we're not killing Rassin at this point. <laughs> oh, we have to do the whole quest again. That's so dumb. I was too careless. I was too careless. Okay. 
Let's just pick that whole thing back up again. Oh, hold on. Oh shit, I forgot to do this. I am dumb. We could have been doing the whole bounties the entire time. God, I forgot to register any of it. Dummy. Oh my god. Can't believe I forgot all about this. Ah, ah, that's my bad. That's my bad. Ah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's, um... The, the whole Rathian hunt, it's entirely optional for that part. I don't think the um, the depths actually intended for us on the first time to be able to hunt it. Especially without the um, Guardian or Defender um, materials, right? The Defender armor. Because it's certainly much easier to deal with it because otherwise, considering what we have right now, what we're wearing, there's definitely instances, instances where that thing can one-shot us. As we have witnessed earlier when we found the Rathalos and the Rathalos basically one-shot us. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was at full health and it did absolutely one-shot me while I was fighting the um, Puke Puke, which is unfortunate. Okay. Also, it doesn't help that we don't get much health bonus from the um, food buffs, which is sad. Very sad. Okay, so I'm just going to speed run this and not have not deal with the Rathalos until we have the proper proper facilities for it. Okay? Okay. Right. At least we don't have to go through the whole thing. We just have to hunt hunt English, hunt the barrels at this point. Which shouldn't take us long. Okay. Okay, which path do we actually want to go to? Um, go through here. We actually should have spawned on the other camp, which doesn't let us. That's so so strange. Um, the other camp is technically set up. It's right there. We found it. We didn't need to do a quest to be able to um set up camp, eat food in it. But for some reason, we can't just fly to it like we normally would be able to. That's kind of strange. Where is my palico? Where's my palico? We need to... What the f... What the hell? Modib! Modib! <laughs> Where is... Where is this son of Gaib? What? I guess he's just not here? Ah... Ah... That's, that's very strange. That is very strange. Ah, take the shortcut over here. Put this up and get this. To be honest, you are my favorite YouTuber. Hey, buddy, you are you are rizzing me up right now. I hope you understand that. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You don't have to try so hard, okay? I <laughs> uh, appreciate it though. I appreciate it though. Thank you very much for hanging out. For hanging out. Okay, so we need to find this barrels guy. Along the way, we need to pick up the mushrooms because we need those armor um, armor spheres along the way. Because since we don't have access, um, technically we're doing a challenge where we don't want to use the um, guardian armors and defender weapons. The defender weapons, right? What I meant is that you're Kieran, you're giving me too much flattery at the moment. Right? That's what I meant. No homo. <laughs> anyway. Where's Baroth? He's supposed to be around here. One thing you absolutely have to remember is that certain monsters have certain areas that they normally patrol. Baroth would usually patrol um, this area. This area where he goes all the way down here. Circles this place in general and then around this swamp area. Right? It doesn't go underground here. It doesn't go to um to this area or this area. It just generally goes in here, around here. So that's just where we need to check. Something to remember, something to remember. In case you you know don't have all the tracks yet, is that monsters will have um certain set pathways, like patrol routes that they will go through. So even if you do not have the tracks collected you know exactly, at least you can narrow down where to find them that they will commonly use throughout their patrol routes, right? 
So as long as we are searching around his usual pathways, it shouldn't be too hard to bump into him. Right? Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, that's not him. That's a different guy. That's a different guy. He doesn't go through there because that's Juotodos' area. He goes through here, I think. No, no, not here. This one. This one. This area south here. This is his sleeping run. You know APB, she is my evil APB. I'm not familiar with APB. Okay, now I am just look stupid. He is not here. <laughs> ah. Went through that whole terrain. Like, oh, I know where he is. I know where he's going to show up. I know his pathway only for him not to show up where I expect to find him. Great job. Great job. Okay. Where is this guy, though? Honest, honest, legit question. Oh, hello. We might as well kill this guy along the way. Oh, uh, hello. Hello? Can you die? Please? Yeah, there we go. Managed to kill one. Um, These guys have... Uh, she's still everything. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to look that up. Kirian. At some point. At some point. Kajan skin. So we need this um Kajan skin at some point, right? Even though it's a smaller monster, we technically still need their materials at some point throughout the um armor progression if we want a certain uh let's see, water elemental weapon. Right? Dude, where is this Baros? Where do you, where the hell did he where the hell did he go? I mean I guess at this point we have no choice but to follow the um things. Tracks and no, 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 not there, not through there. You still, what do you, what do you mean she steal everything for, from you? Like, like, are we talking about divorce settlements? I'm, <laughs> I'm confused. You're going to have to give me a bit more context than that, Kyrian. Oh boy, oh boy. This is no bueno. No. Ah, there he is, finally, finally, we found him. See, see, this is what I meant. See, this is where we expected to find them. Now that we we do have the tracks, favorite monster, favorite monster to fight. Oh, that's a difficult one. That's a difficult one. There's a lot actually. There's also a lot that I still haven't fought yet. Um, in the post game. But I think if I had to choose one, it would have to be a uh, Nergigante. The the fun thing about Nergigante is that she she really has um a distinct or really well implemented sort of mechanic that the the part break mechanic that's really well implemented when it comes to fighting her where it has an, a massive impact where it's just not just the tail if you manage to part break because some monsters have that that you know taking off their tail will advantage you in some way or will change their attack patterns it's incredibly more pronounced with Nergigante because it affects their whole body let's say right oh wait what buddy okay he, this is this is the problem this is the problem once he's covered himself in mud like this it becomes right, damn near impossible to actually okay how does that hit i call i call cap i call bs on that that was not supposed to hit. Let's go to charge. We wait for an opening. And... Okay. We didn't want to actually do that. Nope. Nope, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out, buddy. Um... We are in danger right now. Okay. 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 What I want to do is... No, 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 no. Okay, okay, I'm screwing up right now. Let's just do this. Hopefully hit someone. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. If she stole from you, you need to really, like, report that to your local authorities. If she actually did it illegally, right? Listen, listen, I'm not a lawyer, 
I don't think I can give you any legal advice. But if you have, you know, any evidence, any proof that some, for some reason, somehow this person stole uh, something from you, something from you, it is absolutely worse. I see the problem now. I see the problem. Home view. He comboed you. <laughs> he does, he does. For some reason, my palico is not coming with me. Why? When did that happen? What? Now that makes complete sense. That makes complete sense. The reason I fainted so easily because usually your palico will be able to resurrect you once. Once! You can get one up. For some reason, I had set my palico to not follow me. I am really, really stupid. <laughs> Hold on. Also, how did I not realize that earlier when I was trying to get one of the um, palicos on the map to follow me? I was pressing the signal to call my palico to me, but he wasn't showing up. He doesn't. doesn't he doesn't show up, right? I, I completely forgot for some reason that I had done that somehow. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick up all my buffs, use the max potion, right, use the might seed, and use my rations, which are out present. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Why did I do that? Timing is everything. Okay. The color of the meat and the song that the protector. Nice. I don't know. I don't know. So it's very, you know, complicated, but. Sometimes, sometimes. Okay. Again, not legal advice. I don't know where you are or where you come from or live, but generally speaking, there is a trade-off when it comes to you know, having a lawsuit. If you think that it will ever come to a lawsuit or litigation, you have to consider the pros and cons. Sometimes, it's technically not worth it in relation or rather relative to what you can possibly get from the um, lawsuit, right? But for something as small as a petty, petty theft, I... For something like petty theft, I think, you can really just, I don't know, report that to your local authorities and just put up a police report. And the police will somehow, some way. Wait a minute, I don't have stinger ammo, don't I? Okay, I'm having a rough time over it uh, right now. Okay, okay. I want to tenderize his tail. It's something I really need to um, take off. And no, 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 watch yourself. But I'm trying to... I'm actually... Fuck, oh, goddammit! I'm trying to figure out stuff about the instant glaive for now still. Right. If I was using... If I was using my usual weapons, my main weapons, like, um, like the sword and shield, or, you know, God help me, the charge blade, this guy would be meat sweet right now. The problem is, <laughs> I'm still... I'm still learning how to use the kids have lived te technically. So there's that. There's that. And you know, as I've expressed, the reason I've chosen the insect glaive specifically for this challenge is that it just it just doesn't make sense to me, this weapon. Right? It just doesn't. It's so it's such an enigma to me. Right? Oh my god. That's why I decided to learn it. Because frankly, frankly. I feel like the whole theme of the weapon, or rather its thematic, is somewhat contradictory. On the one hand, you really want to um, work on your Kinsec, and you unleash the full potential of the weapon with the Kinsec buffs, but while micromanaging that, the, the weapon has so much mobility, so much flashiness to it, that it's difficult to really focus on both. And it's, it's so annoying, and I'm trying to understand this weapon. Because apparently a lot of people like it, right? 
a lot of people like it for some reason. It's not an unpopular weapon, and I and I take it that's due in part to its flashiness, right? It looks way damn cool when you fight with it. I beat the game with that weapon. I, if you can give me tips right now, please feel free to do so. <laughs> Because some weapons, like, I don't think I can, I can really get it immediately. Other weapons just really resonate with me right, right off the bat. Right? Even the weapons that I do not expect to be able to get so quickly. See, like, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I was missing. The Palico will give me random heals every now and then, right? Just to sort of shore up my mistakes. I wasn't getting that the um while I was fighting Rathion. Which was an issue. Which was an issue. We definitely could have used at least some form of a safety net. Safety net. Safety net. Oh my god, I'm struggling to speak English right now. While we were going through all of that nonsense. Okay. Okay. Okay, buddy. I think we can slam him into the wall again. The problem is. We are struggling here when it comes to sharpness. Yep, yep, the Kinsec. I get that. We upgraded. But in terms of, you know, the strategies while fighting, I I am trying to figure out if it's You've been hit with water blight. if it's actually worth it to um focus on getting the Kinsec buffs while I'm trying to fight. Or just um, I don't know. Or just trying to fight it normally. Because I feel like the weapon really, really unlocks its full potential, right? When you have at least that number one buff. Because the moves deal so much more damage, right? Like that. See, that's what I mean. When you have at least the number one buff. At least that. Oh my god. Having the um, water plug is really annoying. Well, we don't have any Nullberries, which is also pretty bad. Okay, okay. There we go. Let's actually pick up this thing. Um, there's a fragment here. We don't want to uh, forget about this. We want to forget about this. Fertile mud. Okay. Okay. My brain just went to um to a dark place. <laughs> Fertile mud. What, what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> why, why am I like this? I was thinking of a different kind of fertile. Fertile mud? Oh god. I got beacon sec and it stuns the monsters. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. The whole kinsec has its own like massive upgrade tree. I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. I remember this. What do you think is the best one though? What do you think is the best one to pick? Because I honestly don't know. Don't know which like which status effect? Like, do I get a status effect or do I get element? Stun seems like... It seems reasonable. It seems reasonable to actually take stun. Okay, there we go. Completely missed the kin sec. Please hit the head. Oh my god! Oh my god, I cut off its tail with the kin sec. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, that's hype! <laughs> oh my god, this thing is... Whoa, okay. Okay, okay. Change my mind. I love this weapon now. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. Oh, okay. There we go. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, now we have an opening. Oh, we'll dodge it. Oh, I missed the dodge. I missed the dodge. If you're clever, you can use the slinger to distract monsters. Okay, okay, watch out. What is my kinsick doing actually? Hello? There we go. There we go, triple buffs. Thank you very much. And I'm bouncing off again. It's so annoying. You know what? Screw it. There we go. Got the B, he's strong and he's good. You know what? You know what? Once we get back to this, once we get back to this. We will take a look at the Kinsect, right? And we are going to make an executive decision which particular Kinsect we are going to be aiming for. Okay, can we do that again? 
Can you do that again? I misinputted. I misinputed. We're going to take a look at which can say. Oh, come on, why, why am I still bouncing up? Why am I still bouncing up? This is stupid. This is dumb. This is ridiculous. This this thing has no sharpness at all. I'm going to make an executive decision of which, which kinsect to get based entirely on cuteness and nothing else. Nothing else. Okay. Okay, that might be a lie. That might be a lie, but you get the idea. You get the idea. Okay, there we go. Okay, buddy. You know what? You know what? Do this. I am going to slam you into the giant mountain of turret right there. There we are. Okay. Okay. My god, this thing is so hard to... Okay, this thing is so hard to control. Like, the combos are so... So locked in. Do that jump. Okay, okay. He's limping. He's limping. You know what? You know what we're going to do? I know, I don't think I actually want to waste this thing on him. Oh, we can catch up when can we catch up to him here and deal damage? Okay, come on, come on. There we go. Whew. There we go. And ah no. Can I make this jump? Yes, yes! Oh my god, I've never Okay, okay. Okay, I take everything back. I actually love this weapon now. I can main this weapon. I can do it. <laughs> I believe. I believe. Buddy, come on, come on. Take it easy. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there we go. We got the, um, oh shit. We got the cactus guy to slay it. Okay. This, this whole thing is just a comedy of errors now. <laughs> okay, you know what's worse? We probably won't have enough time to make it to, um, get to his tail. Which is again a mistake on my part. God damn it! God damn it! These are rookie mistakes. These are rookie mistakes. Also, also, I don't know which jump you are. Which jump? Which jump? Because all I know is, right, you can do this jump, the regular spinning drop down. You can do this, which is the um. For me, it's right click because I'm using mouse and keyboard, and then you can do this. Is the straight down, and then you can do this, which is the um claw attack. There we go. Which one are you talking about? Because you have to remember, I'm playing on on mouse and keyboard, and I have no context for which would be the controls on a controller. Oh, the claw jump, hey. the claw attack, Glad the claw dive. Back. You mean? Oh, don't worry. I found a safe place for the scholars to hide. Because for I me, once I do the jump, right? <laughs> Wait for us back I camp. press the um the button that would let me ready the uh, claw, the actual jump. We're talking Neither. about the actual jump. Are you part of the fifth fleet? Uh Okay, so then that means the elder cross is upon us. Again. This is a challenge. Do you even play, do you play on mouse and keyboard or on yes, controller? Then I can count them. Because I think I might I might be able to help you if we can, you know, sort of map out which button on the controller is usually might used I to um to, to use the shield on other weapons, like on the um Let's sword and shield and charge blade. Place. Because it's that button that I use when you press that button with the spacebar, the jump button. That together would allow me to jump. So, my old friends are well. Praise be. It sounds like the good. I really have a few things to learn, like R two and X. I think that might be it. Are you right? tracking the monster? That special that button that you know slag? you would use the shield for with the other weapons, I as well. and then the jump button. It yeah, R two so plus easy. X. That might be it. That might be it. Oh. So from there you can, you know, use any of the attack buttons and then I guess R2 well, again. It is 
R2 to do the uh, straight down dive. Uh, for me, the left mouse, which is the uh, spinning dive, and then the right mouse, which is the um the whole flourish, where you do the uh, lots of slashes. I will demonstrate after this cutscene. But a force we can talk about. It. We can talk about. It. We can be educational. I want this. I want myself to be an educational kind of guy. When it comes to streaming. We will cross paths again at the end of all of this. Okay. Can we move on with the cutscene now? I hate Bomber. Bomber? Bomber? Dragon? Was that who I think it was? Dragon are we talking about here? Which dragon are we talking about? That bunch of nitro shrooms. Barrow shell. Armor sphere, fertile mud. Fucking uh, monster bone. Okay, that might be useful. I think it's worth hopping into. You know what I, what I want to learn. I, I don't know if you caught it a bit you. ago while I was fighting the um, Rathian. I think it might okay. have to do with me recalling the um Kinsiglib that dealt a massive damage in a line. Head to the wild spire right? waste immediately. It's a good thing that you know we can we can check that back in the VOD. I want to review. I want to test out how I managed to do that because that was really, really cool. Oh, you're talking about basil juice. Ah, <laughs> that guy. <laughs> right, right, basil juice. I, I know him well. Ah, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, it's called basil juice. Ooh, hmm. See, the problem with that guy is, uh, <laughs> tends to show up. Him, Basil Juice, and Devil Joe. Good to see you. They tend to, once you get to high rank, Good they luck. tend to show up in the middle of you fighting a monster, and then they will show up and just ruin your day. Just because. Just because screw you in particular. Because why not? Why not? Those two are assholes. He looked at me and Parker some about 50 times and left. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me, which reminds Thank me. Thank you. I think I wish we had access to um earplugs, the earplug skill. Right? Because the main main problem Senator Shadows in the swamp. I think we are up next to find Jura, fight Juratodos. But the main one of the biggest problems I have is because when the monsters spam the um the roars, when they start roaring, they will just spam that back to back. One for the for when they're about to retreat, one for when they get enraged, and one for they, you know, aggro you. Why is it that every single one of those roars will will flinch you? Why? Why? Why can't it just be one? Why can't it just be one of those? Why can't it just be the one where they aggro, right? Why does it have to be every single goddamn one? So you're going to be stuck there, right? Fighting a monster in the middle of, you know, whatever you're doing. You're fighting a monster and Basil Juice shows up. Basil Juice shows up, he starts roaring because he's aggroed you. And then he's going to get enraged because he's now fighting the other monster. And he's going to do the roar again. And then the other monster is also going to do a or himself because he's now getting aggro because he's getting damage from basil juice and it's just an infinite sort of spiral of roaring back and forth and you're just stun locked there flinching for five goddamn minutes <laughs> and then you get hit and one shot by basil juice's bombs it's so it's so dumb it's so dumb right i really wish earplugs were much more accessible early early in the game oh my god oh my god Just <laughs> uh oh well okay Let's i mean despite all of this despite you know, our ranting i still love this game this game is still pretty awesome find the missing scholar yep we're about to fight um the guy the fish the juratodos Get Stinger Torch along the way, and we will pick up uh, this uh, Might Seed down here. I really want to, um... Uh, 
farm some more. I'm missing something. I remembered. I just remembered. I'm missing one particular thing. I'm missing from my inventory. Sleep herbs. There we go. I remembered. We need sleep herbs for uh, tranquilizer bombs. Huh? Wait. What's that there? Wait, there wait. horns. What's going on with the scout flies? The, the scout flies are doing their scout fly hmm. things. Okay. There's nothing. <laughs> nothing special here. I was fighting Puke Puke and he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, it's. It happens, you know, when you get. As soon as you get to high rank, all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> as soon as you. As soon as you step out of Astera, Basil Juice just shows up and ruins your day. What's worse is that you. The, by that by that time, right, you first get into high rank. Usually the armor you're wearing is not ideal. Not well, what not well suited to withstand basal uses damage. So oh yeah. You are in terrible danger of getting, you know, one shot or combo to death. Because you are now up against a monster that deals a ton of damage as well as that monster that you are also currently fighting. The third monster killed me so much. Yeah, so Nergigante, okay. Nergigante Um I said it before. Is my it, is that the scholar? Yep, yep, that's him. That Nergigante is one of my favorite monsters to fight. And it's for specific reasons, mm. right? It can kinda of be BS for a few things, but specifically because his part break mechanic is very very well um, implemented into the monster's identity I feel like I mean I'll elaborate later but you know because God, don't let him find me. you don't let him find me. what Nergigante allows you to do is that you can sort of knock him down or flinch him not necessarily by getting a stun or KO and KO on him but simply by breaking off no, his horns and if you fail to off, fulfill that condition the... breaking oh. you know any of his horns on his body he will do a particular ultimate move that is that is very high damage right very massive hitbox and you can only ever dodge it with one move using you know every weapon and and one attack Oh yeah, but yeah, there are ways to deal with it. There are ways to deal with it. Ways to deal with it, especially because ah, I mean, I want to. I might just wait till New we get to that part. That okay, do we have? Oh shit, I missed. Why do I keep missing the um, claw things? Oh shit. Okay, buddy. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. We actually, um... Can we even get to him at this point? <laughs> there we go, technically. Okay. Okay. But he's not enraged. Let's see what we can do about him. I don't know. Wait for an opening. And touch him. I think we can. Ah, there we go. Smash him into the wall again. How are you grappling with the monster? It's the um, claw shot, right? Okay, so when you um, use the um, claw shot, I think for Xbox, it is R2. Right, when you have the weapon sheath, or when some weapons you can just have the weapons out, press R2, and that will pull the um, uh, grappling claw out. Ooh. Okay, so once you have the grappling claw out, you press the um, for me it's right click, I don't know which one it is with Xbox, right? Here, here, let me show you, let me show you this. I think it's I think for you it's R2. Or not R2, sorry, sorry. I'm screwing up here. 
because on keyboard, on keyboard it is letter C. <laughs> you press the C button. I don't know what the equivalent is for the Xbox. I'm so sorry about that. Okay. Carpen our weapon here. I think I want to eat one of the rations while I'm out here. There we go. Okay. Going to um jump up. There we go. Oh no, 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 we don't actually want to do that. Okay. Give a sec. Need your help. Come on, show up. I oh, this is annoying. This is annoying. It keeps going underground. Hello. Hello, DB Gaming. Very nice to have you on here. There you go. Okay, so there's some move I want to um figure out how to do. Right? Where the King Sec goes through the entire monster and deals damage along the way. I was able to do that with um, Rathia. I have no idea though how to replicate it. Which is <laughs> unfortunate. Unfortunate. Okay. Can my King Sec actually do anything? I want you to give me the um, number 3 buff. There we go. That's it. What, what monster? Oh, no, Barros is here. Barros is here. Yes. And, oh my god, they're having... Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I've never seen that animation before. Holy! Oh my god, that was so cool! <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm done for it. Do you need help? No, 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 fine, I'm fine. It's okay. <laughs> I'm enjoying the show right now, if you couldn't tell. I have never seen that turf war animation before. Wow! Did you see that? Oh my god, oh my god. You learn something new, learn something new every day. R2 then L2. Okay, so, not sure, but if you check in the tutorial, right, the um, ability that lets you pull out the claw shot, it's the one that either lets you use the claw shot or the slinger, right? Because if I do this, right, and press R2, press the slinger, and if I press right click, press the claw shot. There, that's the one. That's the one. I'm not familiar with Xbox controls, so you're going to have to um, sort that out by yourself. <laughs> also, I do not even own an Xbox controller. I own a PlayStation controller, but again, Never played with an Xbox controller. And my Kinsick buffs are gone. See, this is the annoying part. This is the, the annoying part. Every time I have to face off this guy, I need to um, deal with the Kinsick things. Okay, so, here we go. Okay, my Kinsick didn't deal damage there. That's strange. Right? So I'm trying to understand. I still don't know how I managed to... um do that thing before, but I dealt damage to the monster by dragging the Kinsek through them, so I, I don't know how that happened, I, I really want to find out, that was so cool, I managed to do that, okay, see this is what I mean, I have to go through this whole rigmarole of having to buff up the Kinsek, okay, do this to you, and slam you into the wall, there we are, Nice. Big damage. Ooh. Okay, one more. Okay. I don't think we have room to do it again. Oh, I'm surprised he's not enraged yet. <laughs> okay. Like yourself. Do this. And because we need stinger ammo, hopefully this drops. There we go. Drops the stinger ammo. Okay, I'm surprised he's not enraged yet after this entire time. Buddy. No! Oh my god, the underground. Alright, fine. While you're busy doing that, I think I even have enough time to sharpen my weapon. There, yeah, I did. 
completely accomplished. Bugger all while trying to do that, so. Oh, hello. Missed the head. I missed the head. Again. Can we, can we do this? Climb into the wall. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I got the blade. I got the blade. Get me out of the mud. Get me out of the mud. Get me out of the mud. Yeah. There we go. Big damage. Ooh. Ooh. Get in. Ah, there we go. Drop the slinger pod. Yep. I think he is very low on health at this point. Sir, sir, come back here. Come back here. We are not done. We are not done, I'm afraid. Okay. There we go. What monster do you hate? Don't like the legend. Yes, I remember fighting Beleshen, and I promised myself I will never fight him again voluntarily. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> ah, I even trying to remember. I think I was using a switch axe back in the day, back when I was doing that. Which is rough because switch axe is a very much a melee weapon, right? Yeah, and Leshen just likes to teleport around during the entire fight. Which is rough, which is really rough. Especially, you know, back then I really had n no idea how to use the switch axe properly. really. Okay, I'm bouncing off again. It's going one way. You know what? I feel like, right? If we have completed, you know, the, um, King Safety Box, like, all three, I feel like we should have something to the same effect of, you know, Something to the same effect of the um what they call it? the switch axe effect when you are on sword mode with the switch axe. Right? Wait, how is he not dead yet? I'm pretty sure this guy is very, very much low on health. On yes, yep. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I remember that. I remember that. Oh yeah. This guy is, um... No, no, no. Don't want to do that, don't to do this. There we go. See, what that lets us do is, um... There we go. Deal <laughs> a shit ton of, da of damage because the Thorn Pods attaches the stuff to his body. And if you hit that stuff... If you hit that stuff, it deals more damage to him. So, that's nice. He is on life support. Indeed he was. Okay, there we go. Since we have extra time here, we might as well farm these things. Right? Could use their materials as well. And can I get uh, something else? Okay, just the good job skin. <laughs> fine, fine. Come on, give me time, give me time to carve it. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to remember, there we go, that's a good job whisker. That one is a bit more rare. Oh, I got two. Nice, very useful, very useful. Need to drink some water. Excuse me for a bit. I'm very sick right now. Talking for very long absolutely hurts my throat. I like... Ob... Ob dog. <laughs> I've never... I've never heard him called like that before. <laughs> the blood dog. I'm pretty sure he's called Odo Garen officially, but yes, I will be calling him O Dog, Obi Dog. <laughs> From this point on, oh, that's good. It's that's good. The, the Great Ravine. Correct. So I have a proposition. I say we try and capture Zora once it gets there. Have you gone mad? Capture it. Hear me out. If we don't. Oh, here's the thing about awesome. Zora Magdros. If I said it wasn't. Zora Magdros has to be one of the worst. I don't, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. side bosses, I guess, because technically he isn't a side boss. Technically, Zoro Magdos is one large quick time event. 
That's how I will. That's how. That's how I will describe him. We He's... should probably listen to what the chief botanist has to say before we do anything okay, else. Okay. So, like, you know, one of those things where you have a video game, right? Where one of the bosses is just one giant cutscene that has a bunch of quick time events, right? We're in the middle of a cutscene and it just wants you to mash buttons that show up on the screen. That's him. That's our Magdros. That's our Magdros. He's a bad boss. He is pretty easy. It's, uh, it's yeah. It's not just the it's not just the fact that he is easy. It's just it's just so uninteresting. Okay. So let me tell you, let me tell you how bad Zora Magdos is implemented. The way speedrunners, the way speedrunners deal with Zora Magdos levels, right? There's technically two Zora Magdos levels. The way speedrunners deal with him is that they don't. Is that they don't deal with him at all. They don't interact, they don't bother with doing the thing. They use the Zora Magdos levels as a built-in bathroom break. <laughs> you will, you will understand what I mean hey. if you if you find yourself one of those um, Monster Hunter World speed runs. They will get to a Zora Magdros levels. They will find the spot and they will just leave their character on idle while they go off to drink water or take a bathroom break. That is how bad that boss is implemented. It is crazy. And there's two levels of it. Two levels of it. Oh, Tobi Kadachi. This is an interesting monster. Okay, before... Okay. Uh, uh, we will accept the quest after we um, check the... Um, uh, check the workshop to see if we can get an upgrade to anything. To the Kinsack, right? I promise this. I promise this. That uh, after we um, fought the Barros, that I will come back to the workshop to check the Kinsack. Which I didn't keep. We <laughs> we did one more hunt, but now now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now we'll check. Let's see though. Armors. What armor did we unlock? Fighting two monsters. Alloy. And Barros and Chiratodos. Which one would be useful though? Midproof, not useful. Defense. Boost, speed sharpening. Um speed sharpening might actually be useful considering how quickly we run out of sharpness. <laughs> right? Oh, oh god, speed eating. I love speed eating. Speed eating is my one of my favorite skills in the game. It's just not worth it at level 1. Uh, 45, speed color, yeah, that's not useful. I don't think we have any useful options as of yet. We could go for alloy, but... Uh, no, no. No, nothing useful. Nothing useful yet. Okay, okay. Look so long to go to the doctor. I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Karia. Time for action, I suppose. What I'm what I'm doing, right? I know you're trying to direct me to the um guardian armors, right? The defender. It looks different on my game because it's modded. Look at this. Look at this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Want to see something? Yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> this is what you're talking about. It looks different because I am I have a mod right. I have a bunch of mods right now that makes the armors look different. But anyway, what I'm doing right now is um, a hundred hour challenge where I'm not supposed to use the the guardian the guardian armors and the defender weapons, right? That's the challenge because those are technically DLC add-ons that you are supposed to take if you want to speedrun your way through to um, high rank or master rank, right? That's what you do. Oh, wait, wait, forgot to check the kin side. That's what you do with those. That's what you do with those. <laughs> I see you raising your eyebrow. I see you raising your eyebrow. Uh. Stay tough. Yeah. So that's what you do with those. Um, armor, no, check the armor. You want to check Ginsek upgrades. Purchase Ginsek. Ginsek, oh, right. I forgot. We can absolutely change the Ginsek element. Water? Nope. Um, upgrade. Nurture. Let's see what we got. This gives us, um, well, it increases the stats just straight up. Doesn't change the element. That's heal. Ah, it's it's all, all on question mark. Okay. So, I mean, we might as well upgrade this just so we can get more damage out of it. 
and then in terms of not forge upgrade in terms of the actual thing what upgrade options do we have we have this unlocked do we want water maybe maybe technically i want to go with the poison route technically but water might be useful to just get just so we have that weapon available that element available if we need it so we, we will upgrade okay we will upgrade um let's see the other thing there we go bone rod okay we can go upgrade in two directions because as far as i know okay this one gives us more damage more damage than this yes okay we can upgrade in two directions we can upgrade this and upgrade this i will use this for now then pick up another bone weapon right upgrade or forge weapons insect clip insect clip sorry insect bone rod yes and then upgrade that poison i do not have enough yet for the um uh, I'm missing the um, poison sack from Puke Puke. I'm, uh, I think I missed it. I've only hunted Puke Puke once and I haven't gotten yet gotten it yet. Uh, I had bad RNG, bad RNG. I managed to not be able to carve uh, a poison sack out of him. But we will get to it. We will get around to it. Oh, especially, especially. Since, since, considering the um the next place we are going is the ancient forest i want to equip the other thing Each equipment hunter we get the one without the element there we go Oops. Uh, sure sure um, because the last when last i checked um what the sleep element do sleep element what it does is that if you hit them enough with the sleep element they will fall asleep on the spot i believe you can get it up to um you can manage to do that twice to a single monster before they die basically i i don't know the specifics of it i don't know the specifics of it it is particularly useful when you are playing in multiplayer okay toby kadachi should show up right around this section right this section sort of the map this is where he usually hangs out so we will go here on that camp that camp right so let me give you an example of um what best to where to best use sleep element if you have um with you speaking of which i'll show, I'll show you i'll show you right now I think I have barrels. No, I don't even have barrels. God damn it. I need to buy some. Right? The explosion barrels. I need to buy some of those. I'm using big sword. Great sword is cool. Great sword is cool. Let me remind... <laughs> I need to remind myself to show you a cool mod that I have with one of the um, Wyvern Ignition Great Sword. It basically turns the Great Sword... Basically turns that Great Sword into a giant RGB RAM stick. <laughs> you know? When you build computers, it's actually funny. It's actually funny. Anyway. Anyway. Let's continue. Yeah, I do like the big sword. This is one of the weapons that I am talking about that just absolutely resonates with me. I managed to get the hang of that weapon almost instantly, and I barely struggled with it. But their effects only last for a limited amount of time. If the tool you're using stops working, don't worry. It'll recharge after a while. Man, I wasn't paying attention to anything she was saying. I I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I didn't I didn't understand any of it. I thought it was Big Sword. Huh. Anyway. So yeah. The Great Sword. Very cool web. Okay, Mohadib, I need you to invite this guy to our party. These guys. Yeah. Nice. Oh, and nope, we don't need that right now. We need to find Toby Kodachi. If I can remember my way around this place. I hate her. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> she too be kind of annoying on occasion. Oh, wait a bit. We missed our footprint. We missed the footprint. 
Did we did we find him yet? No. Yes. They, Toby does take this route usually. Usually, that's why we're finding his tracks here. She talks too much. That is a point. I, frankly, the problem usually about with her talking too much is to just change the language to one that you do not understand. For me specifically, it is either Japanese or the Monster Hunter language, right? Fun fact, fun fact. The Monster Hunter language that they use in this game, it sounds gibberish, right? Specifically because that's exactly what it is. It is entirely gibberish. At least that's what I know. That's what I've heard. It is not based on any established language whatsoever. The voice actors just decided to make a bunch of random noises on the spot. Is what I believe that they did. But one thing that's even better about this is that speedrunners will default to the Monster Hunter, Hunter language specifically because the dialogue goes much faster during the cutscenes, right? Because it is just gibberish noise that they that they use. Right? So the problem of the handler talking too much is basically mitigated by just changing the language to one that you yourself do not understand. So she's, to you, she's just making static noises. If you understand the language perfectly like English, you are obviously going to get distracted. Okay. Do this. Whoa, 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 Okay. We fall from we fell from very high. Can you can we jump down here? Can you join me down here? Can you? No? Doesn't want to? Okay, okay. Well I will come to you then. That's annoying. <laughs> she talks too much and he's zoned out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean that happens to me a lot too. Oh there he is. Ouch, okay. Keeps getting me with this. I need to wait for an opening. Okay, come on, buddy. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Got a solution. Okay. Now that he doesn't see me, I think we have an opening. There we go. See, now we can slam him into the wall. There we are. Nice. Do this. Okay. Oh right. There we go. Real big damage. So as far as I know, we can't, we cannot cut um, Toby Kadachi's tail, which um, which is bizarre to me. Oh shit! I should not have matched that. Okay, watch out, buddy. Okay, what is he up to? What is he up to? Oh, oh, he's not in range yet. We can give him a wall slam again. Come on, come on. Where's your head? Give me your head. Come here. Come here. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. I am very squishy right now. I was, I'm very squishy. I'm not used to having such low armor. Because normally, I'll be playing with garden armor, though. So. As you suggested, as you suggested, chat, Kyrian. But the thing is, since I'm playing a challenge right now, I unfortunately do not have that luxury. Okay, what do I. I hate that I cannot change direction. Okay. There we go. I know place where monsters can't. Oh, right, right, right. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second here. I need to focus. I can't hurt you and it's not at the handler. I do not know where that is. Genuinely curious. Genuinely curious. Okay, where's my insect? I need you to get number three buff. That's not number three buff. Oh, and he's running away. Of course he is. So yeah. So yeah, if you could tell me all about that place. <laughs> I would very much appreciate it. Okay, okay. Oh, watch this, watch this. You know, it's very convenient that they position themselves. Like, when they... Whenever they move down to this area, every monster, without fail, 
they position themselves exactly beneath this boulder, right? So we can just do this. Then just deal massive damage to them. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. Sometimes, sometimes this game though. <laughs> whoa, whoa, watch out. Go. Okay. Let's see what he does. Oh, there we go. Can I? Yes, this is a wall. No, that wasn't the wall. Shh. I, uh, I guess I wasn't aiming properly. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I missed that. Just need to Ah. I think. I think I might have an idea of that place you're talking about. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay. Almost. <laughs> I was worried that I almost didn't hit him into a wall. Big damage. Ah, okay. There we go. There's the war. He's finally in rage. Good time to mount him. Which we will get once we have an opening. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Ah, nice. But they will bark at you. I think I might have an idea of that place. If we manage to get to it. Actually, actually. It might be worth checking out because because one of the things I want to get to is to um find Puke Puke and kill him, kill a uh, hunt a Puke Puke while we are doing this guy right now. Oh shit! Okay. Whoa! Okay. You have to have it. I hate that I'm bouncing off again. It's annoying. It's annoying. Yeah, yeah, run off, run off. We're fine, we're fine. We can try to find that place, actually. Since we, you know, we want to, um, we want to take the moment, the opportunity to find a Pookie Pookie around this place. Oh god, my throat is killing me. Ah, it's not good. It's not good to be sick. Ugh. Find Spooky Puke. Hopefully they would show up at that place as well. So, here I am, okay? This is... Oh, hello Jaggers. Ah, what amount of time. I was hoping to find Puke Puke. What's this? Oh, hello! Do I? Do I? Do I want to? Do I want to? <laughs> I'm tempted. I'm tempted to take this guy on. While we're here. Oh wait, this guy's almost dead. Huh. Ah, I mean, I guess since Puke Puke is, isn't going to show up. Might as well. There we go. Whoa. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Let me see. Hmm. I don't suppose we can do this to him. Yes, we can. That's surprising. Okay. <laughs> that was surprising. This deal massive damage. Ooh. Almost dead. Okay. How was he not dead? How? But how did you get there? I've had so many times. <laughs> um, I don't know which one. There we go. Managed to latch onto him. Be careful. You'll get stunned more easily now. Is he not dead yet? Sir, sir, how are you not dead? Oh, piercing pots. Well, if he isn't dead yet, he's certainly going to die very soon. There we go. Nice to hit him. Let me guess. If he dies, oh no. He wasn't he wasn't going to die from that. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh, whoa, 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 watch it. 
Okay. Now he's dead. That camp. Oh, you're talking about the camp. Let's head back and report to the chief botanist. So, here's the thing, okay? You need to pay attention to the um to the map. Right? The map at the lower left corner of the screen right now. Which is to go up here. There is a pathway right here, right? This little vine wall, you go up here, and there it is. So I'll show you where it is on the map. It is right here, right? This is the first camp, this is the second camp, and then this one, just this one, this area. At number 8, right at the edge of, you know, between 8 and 7. It's directly north, right? It's when you, Once you see it, it's going to be very, very hard to miss. Very hard to miss. Ooh, there we go. Yeah. Ah, it's a shame we couldn't find a Puke Puke during this one. Ah, that's a shame. Good, because we really, really could have used a poison sack by now. But, but, I, I really don't want to waste time. I know, how do you get it? Oh, oh, it's a, it's a delivery quest. So once you You're get... You're just the awesomest. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> Once you get there, right, the you fifth. will be given a me. sort of delivery quest. quest. So you go through here to the resource center, oh, right? Too good to me. You go to the um, complete deliveries, and it's this one. This one, basically, just asks you to um to deliver or to give these guys a couple of iron ores and one ancient bone, mm -hmm. and that's it. It's, it's not a quest that you have to take. It's given to you by default if you find that place for the first time. Right? If you get into that place and find it for the first time. This, this delivery quest will be given to you automatically. And it's not difficult because very likely you would have already found iron ore and ancient bone. So you just have to go to these guys, the resource center. Right? Complete deliveries and there it is. Just give him the stuff, and then you got it. That is pretty much how you get most of the other camps in the other maps as well. After you find them, you complete a delivery, and then they give you that area. So, hopefully, hopefully you can get one <laughs> the next time you visit Ancient Forest. Shouldn't be that bad. Shouldn't be that hard. Ah, oh, finally, we can do this then. See... This is useful. This is useful. The um, the botany, botany place, the botany garden, Getting bigger all the time. where you can plant stuff. It's very useful for materials that you um might be a little bit too out of the way to farm, or at least that's very very crucial. I know where a camp is in the desert. Third, like a third camp. See that one. That one I would like to know because I feel like I've only ever managed to pick up. The other camp, which we just, which apparently is just given by default. Um, I think we want. Yeah, we have a bunch of honey. Already, bitter bug is one we don't have much. We cultivate that, fertilize it so that it um grows faster. There. So in wild spire waste, I only ever managed to be at, pick up two camps from there, which is unfortunate. And hello. Let's get the lead out. Hurry back. I think you are going me. Oh, okay, bobble cactuses. Interesting. Go to this guy. Oh, I don't think I've actually visited this guy. Needed to buy a few stuff from him. A box, yes. A bunch of potions. We need to stock up on this so that we can turn that. Not too much. <laughs> I don't want to uh, use up all my money. That must terry jerky. A few. Not too much. Maybe three is good enough. That will be useful later on. And then large barrel. I want to keep ten. Ah, that's a bit of money, but oh well. Okay, that's about all that is useful for us right now. Give me a couple trap tools. Sure thing. No, 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 no. Just a couple. There. Good enough. Yes, three in the desert. I've only ever seen two. I've only ever seen two. I've only ever seen two. I I don't think I've ever found the third one, which is a shame. <laughs> All right. Well, 
Anyway, Oops. we can find those Hold later on. Okay. What is the raw meat do? The, base. the raw meat allows you to um to just set up a barbecue. Turn that thing into a ration, basically. I I don't know why the game bothered to um do that when rations exist. Yes, you eat it so you can um gain back maximum stamina. That's what it's for. Okay, this guy is giving me quests. At some point, we will have to do um, quests for this guy. Right, so that we can unlock more food options. Herbivore eggs. Yeah, sure. For now, for the live streams, I want to do only the main quests. And do the optional quests off screen. Right. At least for now. At least for the low ranks. Because usually the optional stuff is the ones that you um knows that you get. Wait a minute. Hunting quest. Anjana. Ancient forest. So okay, wait, okay. We're still in the ancient forest. Um we definitely want to find to use the ticket as well. We want to find one Puke Puke. Well we can use other sort of meats for something else. I think it might be worth demonstrating later on. Like for example. You have raw meat, and if you have, I think, sleep herbs or something, you can craft, ah, uh, what do you call this? Like, uh, yes, yes, there, there, we go, there we go. This is the one, this is the one. Kind of like the T-Rex. You can drop this drug meat, right, into the path of one of those monsters, like, like Jagras or the T-Rex guy. And they will eat this meat, and they will fall asleep. <laughs> same thing, same, same concept here. Right? Poison meat, that's what they'll that's what happens. Teach meat, they get paralyzed. Right? It's not it's nowhere near particularly as useful right or as convenient as a regular paralysis trap, like poison element or you know anything that allows you to use sleep. It's just it's just there. You can use it. Which I, I don't know. <laughs> it's completely redundant. I don't actually, well, I don't actually have any practical uses for it that I can demonstrate to you. Okay, I think we are about ready. We did already eat the food, right? Am I stupid? No, we haven't eaten yet. Okay, we almost went on the quest without eating. Oh boy! Can we can we finish this finish up this animation? Hopefully, hopefully you will give me better better stats after all this. All right. Okay, there we go. That's 40. <laughs> 40 health. 40 HP already. That's very useful. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay. We are good to go. Good to go. Okay. So this is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. For the equipment we are wearing, um, what does eating even do? If you, okay, I'll let you finish talking. If you eat rations or meat yourself, right, like this one, rations, that one increases my maximum stamina. What you can do with the raw meat that you have is you can use this barbecue spit to cook rations yourself. I don't know why you would use this when just regular rations are available and Oops. just as your useful, especially yes, since you, you know you can actually fill that, <laughs> right? Eat this and it raises your max stamina just as well. What you could do, oh, I think I think I can actually demonstrate this for you. I think I think I can actually demonstrate this for you, if we can find this Anjanath. All right, we should craft crafting list crafting list. Oh no, yeah yeah, we kept the um, we can do this drug meat. We can do this, take this, and if we use this, we will drop it. We will drop it in the floor, 
and when a monster comes across it, they will eat it. And whatever effect it is imbued, either poison or sleep or paralysis, they will be afflicted by that effect. Which, again, just to reiterate, I have no clue <laughs> why anyone would assume that they have any more practical use than a regular trap. But it exists, and you can use it, and it works, and it's very, very stupid. <laughs> it's, very, it's very funny, what I, is what I mean to say. Wait, where the hell, where the hell even are these monsters right now? I'm being, I'm being led around like this. Yeah, I have that. But where is he? Where is he? Um, also do not have... Still also cannot find any Puke Puke tracks, which is disappointing. Unless there's any over here, nope. I guess Puke Puke isn't on the map yet. Fine, fine, we'll follow the um follow the flies for now. Just to find it. Just to find it. Okay, is he here? Nope. Not here. Since the other, there are monsters here right now. Okay, here we go. Cutscene time. Oh, this is the part where he's in the middle of eating Jaguars. Yeah, I remember this. <laughs> oh, this is kind of brutal. This is kind of brutal. See what he does here. See what he does here. This is absolute savagery from Anjanath. This is what makes me kind of like him too. He, he's going to get this boulder dropped on him, onto his head, right? Just like the game mechanic. And then he pulls off something really, really smart. Something really, really smart, which, you know, kind of implies a intelligence to this creature, right? Gets hit, boom. Yep. And through that smoke, look what he does. He throws the Jagras corpse at you. <laughs> That is, that is a level of disrespectful that I do not know that I can abide by. <laughs> okay. This. No, 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 no. Wanted to do this. There we go. See, dummy. <laughs> okay. That. Okay. There we go. Nice. Uh, big damage. Okay, there we go. Okay. Ah. More. There we go. I think that's wall enough. No! Just missed. Just missed. Okay. Okay. I'll be your way. Ow! Okay. Bad choice. That's just bad. Bad decision. Bad decisions. Watch it, watch it. Okay, ooh, what is that? Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, 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 that's bad, that is bad, that is bad, that is bad. Uh, Jagras with the fire breath is not something we want to mess with. Okay, we didn't manage to get a mount on that. Ah, how disappointing. Nope. Let's try this again. There we go. That's what we wanted. Whew. Okay, now we are out of stamina. Um, this is trouble. This is trouble. Yep. Yep. Okay. We need you to fall down now. We have no stamina to play with. Please fall down. There we go. Okay, okay. We go to the tail. We go to the tail. Tail is primary priority. Okay, there we go. Ooh, no, 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 no. We want to go for his tail. Okay, I have no idea what is going on. Camera? <laughs> Help me out here. Right, but he's running right now. He's running. Ah, we still haven't managed to run into another... Oh, wait a minute. 
we have the um, ghillie mantle. We might as well make use of it. There we are. Ghillie mantle gives us um, some room, some room to um, play with things. Right? Just so you know, I have a mod also that sort of hides the um, special equipment. Oh, that's not bad. 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 That could be um thing. It's bad. Now he has the um, fire breath. We do not want to mess with that. Whoa! Watch yourself, buddy. Okay, okay, we need to be really careful right now. This guy can absolutely one-shot us. If he wanted to. Yep. See, that's already a lot of damage. <laughs> ooh, ooh, okay, what is going on? What is going on right now? Wait a minute, opportunity here. There we go. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. We're, we're we supposed to get up that quickly. Okay, okay. Actually, actually. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. We have an opening here. Because he is not in rage yet. No, no, no. That's not his face. Get into his face. Get into his face. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, slam into the wall. Finally. There we go. There we go. Yeah, absolutely destroying this guy, by the way. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, tail. Is not tail very good? Nope, nope, I think it is. No, 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 <laughs> we already used the killing mantle, silly woman. Ah, oh, silly woman, okay. Okay. He is running off to a different area, that's fine. Which means we have room to sharpen. Okay, okay. I think we have finally have an opportunity here since we've dealt we've dealt enough damage to him, right? We find some oh I think we actually missed an opportunity with the Gilly mantle. But 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 okay, here's the thing, here's the thing. Once we deal enough damage to him, right? He's going to go hungry. And when he goes hungry, he's going to want to eat some food. And then we use the Gilly mantle. Go watch yourself. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what is going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wrong move. Okay, I don't even know what I am doing right now. Come on, buddy. Get, get out of the way of his head. That is not a good place to be. Watch yourself. We need to um we need to go aerial a bit more. Right, right, let's try that again. Okay, I like the part where I did not hit him whatsoever. That's nice. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Ah. Right. Ah, he's tired, I think. I think we do have an opportunity here, finally. Whoa, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. We should not have let ourselves get 
caught there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do not hit me. Do not hit me. Okay, 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 okay. It's a good thing. He is exhausted right now. <laughs> Otherwise, that would have gone really, really bad. Ah, there we go. Oh, we managed to cut off his tail. Nice. Okay, okay. Not ideal. Not ideal. No, come on. Do we really need that bullshit? No, I'm going to deal big damage here. Okay, okay. Managed to survive that. Thank you very much. This. Um, okay, before we forget, before we forget. Get this. Yeah, there we go. Surprised we haven't found a different monster at all. I haven't found Puke Puke or anything. Annoying, annoying, annoying that we haven't. Big snark of things right now. Ah, I need some water. I'll take this opportunity, please. My throat is killing. Okay, okay, I'm back. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, give me a second here. Ah, oh, it's not a good time. It's not a good time to be sick. Also, I think my phone is um, screwing with me right now. I think I lost chat. Jesus Christ, YouTube. YouTube is not... It's not having a good time. It's not... <laughs> okay, so anyway. I meant to show this, okay? So keep in mind, although it's invisible, we are wearing the ghillie mantle right now. If I do this, there we go. See that? See that? We put the um, meat down. We put the meat down. Now he's hungry. He has that icon coming out of him, right? That shows that he is hungry. He will eventually approach this meat and eat it. If he's not bugged. It's okay. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He's going to eat it. He's going to eat it. Like a dummy. Like a dummy. <laughs> and he's going to go to sleep. Night night. So, yeah. It has its uses, but I d certain conditions have to be met, right? He has to not be aggroed. He has to not be, you know, he has to not be not hungry, he has to be hungry, that's what I meant to say. And then from here, the, the only useful thing to do here is to use a wake up move that will deal a lot of damage or use bomb barrels which we do not have access to right now. So my solution is just do this. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. There we go. Can we get the number one? Yes, got the full buffs immediately. Thank you. Do I have the... There we go. We have this. Yeah. I'm reading right now that's not what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. It's fine, it's fine. It's perfectly fine, I understand. It's just, it's just that YouTube kind of, you know, broke on me <laughs> for a moment there. YouTube is very weird with its um, video players sometimes on mobile. I'm only monitoring this thing through my phone right now, right? Because I only have one monitor at the moment. Oh, whoa, whoa, watch it. Okay, there we go. Managed to um, get a lucky clagger, but we didn't get... Huh, surprising. Oh, buddy. Okay, okay. Now he's dealing a lot of damage. Now we need to be really, really careful. Speaking of careful. See this? Paratoad! Come on, help me out, buddy! Oh no, no, we missed! Okay, well... He's not having a good time, so... 
Let's take advantage of the situation, I guess. Okay, slide down and there we go. Whoa, 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 come on, come on. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. We can deal enough damage to him to just, you know, force him to fight wherever he is, right? But that's only if we can manage to catch up to him. And if we don't bounce off like that. That's very silly. I hate that. <laughs> oh my god. I hate the thing. I hate the, I hate the thing. I hate the tenderizing mechanic. It sucks. It sucks so bad. Okay. Oh. So he's going to go into his slayer right now to go to sleep. I really wish we had barrel bombs right now. We really need to carry some of those around us because as far as I'm concerned, I don't know which moves that the insect glaive has that would allow me to deal a massive one hit uh, damage to him while he's asleep. Most other weapons have it. Um, let's see. For the charge blade, you have the SAD. For the great sword, you have the two charge slash. Okay, will he fall asleep? I don't think he will fall asleep. We already just put him to sleep earlier, so okay. Do this. Charge this up, then go in. Even for the switch axe, you can just manually hit up a you know zero some discharge. That's not the boss we wanted. Oh, me out here. Insect glaive! This guy, please, please, he is almost dead. He is almost dead. Can we just... Okay, missed again. Come back here, buddy. Come back here, buddy. I, d I don't have anything to take advantage of you falling asleep, so I'm just going to try to kill you. <laughs> Wherever it is you stand. Okay, oh wait, this is his lair. Huh. Okay. Up. Okay, buddy. Oh, no, 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 we don't have the... Um... See, this is the problem. Like, again, this weapon is so reliant on do getting something done with the Kinsek, right? And the, the weapon feels like, feels have, feels nerfed without it, right, without proper implementation. Like for now, like we are wasting precious time, okay, see, see, that's rough, that's rough. It is such an awkward weapon. It is such an awkward weapon with with the thing. <laughs> There's so much about it that feels counterintuitive. Like you want to be mobile, you want to fly around and be cool and do all that stuff. But you are being held back because most of that cool stuff that you can do is locked behind the Kinsect. And it's annoying. One damage from climbing or going down. It's just that, you know, it just so happens that we are wearing bone armor, which doesn't have a lot of defense. So whenever he does that, right, no matter what he does, it's, it's going to deal a lot of damage to us until we can get better defense stats straight up. Right? But again, again. Like, one of my primary problems against this weapon is the awkward implementation of the Kinsek. It's just strange. Oh my god, that is a Rathalos. Rathalos will one shot me. Let's avoid him for now. Please. No, thank you. Don't want to deal with him. Like now. What is he doing right now? There we go. Oh my god, that is a lot of damage. That's more than half my HP, by the way. See what I mean? So, this is going to be tough. Ah, there we go. We got a mount, at least. There's that. <laughs> we'll take that consolation. 
Okay. But once we get him down, we at least can manage to get, you know, a good combo on him. Just because we already have the um, number one buff. Ooh. Okay, here we go, buddy. Okay, he's still not dead somehow. Ooh, we managed to dodge that. Okay, buddy. Here we go. Do some damage to him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. watch it. There we go. Okay, give me the buffs. There we go. Nice. Ouch. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. He did it again. He did it again. Okay, we got the Mega Potions. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. Take advantage of the uh, healing mantle. We might as well. Okay. Okay, okay. We can use this to get a surprise on him, right? Ooh! Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting, but we need to clear away from that. That is a lot of damage. When he does that massive charge move, that is a lot of damage, that represents. And it's also a massive hitbox when he does it right into a wall, so be careful with that. Right now, I just want to play it safe at this point. Buddy, how are you still not dead? Okay. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Where is it? Ooh, 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 nice. Good work. Good work, Mohadib. Can we stop bouncing off? Jesus Christ. So annoying. I'm going to faint again, aren't I? Okay, okay. Chill out. Chill out, buddy. What the hell was that? I keep bouncing off. Jesus Christ. Okay, watch it. Oh my god, managed to get him out again. How he is still not dead is beyond me. But I'm not about to complain. Ooh. Ooh, watch it. Watch it. Okay. Might as well take the opportunity. Maybe to sharpen as well while he's busy downstairs. I think he's the final boss. No, 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 no. The problem is the problem is with Anjanat. When you reach this point, if you're not wearing, wearing Defender armor, right? He is a massive, what we call a difficulty spike in gaming because he deals so much damage, right? And he is particularly large, which means when he moves a lot, he has a larger hitbox. That makes it harder to dodge his abilities. No, 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 no. Watch it. Okay. Let's get one more. No, oh, no, 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 no. Screwed up. I screwed up. That's not what I wanted to do. What? What is my kinsect doing? Completely missed, by the way. Completely missed. Completely missed. I hate this thing. I hate this thing. Okay, maybe technically it didn't, but still annoying. There we go. Finally. Finally. Finally, we can do something to him. Ooh! I just managed to dodge it. Ouch. That is a lot of damage. That wasn't even a proper attack or anything. There we go. Managed to kill him. Okay. Okay. Awkward. Awkward. Oh. Oh. We really, really need to um develop a better strategy of fighting than what we're currently doing. We're just sort of making things up as we go along, right? 
because I feel like I feel like I'm I really really feel like I'm doing something wrong here I'm doing something wrong because if I was using my usual um, sword and shield or my switch axe this would not take nearly as long as it does I would not have nearly as much problems even if I wasn't using the add-on DLC weapons right it's so bizarre it's so bizarre okay okay that was hard <laughs> Yeah, yeah, more so for the fact that I am not familiar with this weapon, but anyway. I'm not familiar with this weapon, and you know, Anjanet is just a particularly larger difficulty spike throughout the progression of the game. Nice. Okay, flame sack. We managed to pick one of those. That's actually good. Hail. Okay, okay. At the very least, I think we can craft a weapon out of this. Good luck beating the Leshen. I think we can manage. <laughs> By then, hopefully, I would have gotten the hang of this weapon. Hopefully, hopefully. Let's see what's next. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. I don't like the look of this. Glad <laughs> to use Big Sword. Big Sword is great. Big Sword is wonderful. We have much to discuss. All our preparations are complete. And I have ah, this is a Zora level. No, no. no, 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 no. Precisely. At ah, I think. Let's ah. run through the operation one last time. Then. Our hunters will rendezvous on site. Once the beast, beast appears, appears, yeah, yeah. The operation will commence. We've built two barriers in the target's path. So Your this is the rough part. Is to stop it at the first barrier. Um, I am expected here to um use the cannons fire. and shit However, and everything. There is a chance Technically, I don't have to. <laughs> if so, well, during this phase, we'll attempt to weaken make sure you hammer it as much as possible with cannons. I'm so tempted. I'm so tempted to not even stream this. Affirmative, sir. Absolutely. Make sure you do a final check on the equipment before we begin. Yes, sir. Absolutely not tempted. We can't bring our quarry back to base, so take what you need. I would like to help you. To conduct your research on um, the Zora Magnus crest doesn't technically well. need help. Um, may the sapphire star light your <laughs> but you can. But Dismissed. yeah, well, I appreciate the sentiment anyway. My point is, what I'm trying to say is, the Zora Magnus crest, right? It's not one that needs wow, help. Does it need help to finish? It just here. needs to finish. You? That's a problem. <laughs> like, it takes forever where, you know, you don't do anything, or rather don't have to. And nothing you do throughout the quest matters at all. Besides getting a few extra, you know, uh, minerals and ores. So annoying, so annoying. Oh boy, oh boy. And as I understand, as I understand, even mothers, even the mod, the mothers, right? try to find a way to um do a skip like you would skip the cutscene to skip the Zora Magdos quest they managed not to because it's so hard coded into the game that they couldn't find a way to help to get rid of it basically oh, yeah. uh, oh. I'm moving so no that's fine that's Nothing fine it's um Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a live stream every week, right? Look out for the schedule. It's probably going to usually be at, you know, the same schedule as this one, right? Either this one or Friday evening. So definitely look out for that. Depends on my opening because after this, after this, which reminds me, reminds me, after I'm done with this live stream, I have another appointment at 3 a.m. It is literally 1, 1 48 a.m. at my time. Right? I have an appointment at 3 a.m. with a different content creator, right? We are working on, or rather, we are recording a Space Engineers playthrough with Captain Jack. Captain Jack's, Captain Jack's channel, if you are familiar with that. Okay. Give me a second here. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. My throat is absolutely killing me. 
Oh boy. After this, at 3am, I have an appointment with Captain Jack. We are recording a series for Space Engineers the game. So, if you're watching this, go on ahead and look for Captain Jack's channel. It is one that is um, that's primarily focused on Space Engineers content. And I am currently one of the members of the um, team that is recording with them. Right. I'm pretty low key. I don't <laughs> I don't tend to um talk too much, but I am there. I am there. I am part of that series. We'll get it ready by morning, I promise. So, you know, besides the content on this channel, I am also featured on a different channel. So if you want to check that out, if you are interested in space engineers, you can check that out. After this, like I will be, you know, us, eh, I'll just get this quest out of the way for this stream, but consider this stream technically Zora over. <laughs> because I have to get off at uh, 3 a.m. and get myself ready for recording for that other channel. If this cutscene could, you know, move any faster. I'm a YouTuber too, he Kirian, I would love to check out your channel after this, okay? After this, I will check out your channel, I will check out your content, and I will give you my sub. I Because I absolutely appreciate you coming on to here and hanging out with me throughout the whole live stream. You're a gamer, 55. Okay, okay. I see, I see. That's Kyrian underscore gamer fifty five. Ah, there you are. That's your channel. Oh, you play Roblox, huh? Interesting. God, I wish I can get into Roblox. Where the beast down? You know what? I'm not gonna do rush. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel the need to. I guess chill out, just have fun with the cannons, play around with them. Okay, let me help you load this up, buddy. Go and push this to aim it. And that's good enough. There we go. But I have three subs. If you have more content, here's my advice. If you had more content available already on your channel, you will get more subscribers. Right. Here's the thing, here's the thing about YouTube. You have you are playing Roblox right now. Roblox is a particularly large niche. It, well, let's just say for example, whatever it is game you want to play. Right? Whatever it is, if you enjoy it, it will have its particular niche. So what you do is if you have a already an established bank of content of whatever it is game you are playing whenever somebody finds your channel right they will see that you already have a whole lot of videos ready for them to watch that is within their particular interest if that makes any sense which means they will be much more likely to give you a subscribe why because well they want that particular kind of content and they now have a content that they you know they might enjoy right let's say that they can watch that they will want to watch eventually on their free time <laughs> okay but usually that entails you you know having that repository that bank that um that little content already available on your channel Right. Me, I have, you know, 40-ish, 50 channels, oh, channels, I mean videos in my channel that aren't particularly too related to each other, it's just random. I only have recently decided to commit to, you know, particularly specific games like Space Engineers, right? Making content for those and trying to be as educational as I can. It is bomber barking. <laughs> yep. Anyway. 
But anyway, where was I? Oh shit, my, <laughs> my guy got caught in the crossfire. You know what? I'm not about to let this corpse go to waste. Eventually, we will need, you know, our nose materials anyway. Oh yeah. So that's the thing. For me, generally, when it, whenever I upload, you know, a video, I generally get, let's say, um, four, I think, four to five new subscribers. Where the hell are my cannons? Here, here we go. This is one. Four to five new subscribers. On a good day. On a good day. Oh, come on, son of a bitch. Broken, nice. I think that one is loaded again. Like, I get four to five new subscribers for, you know, on average. That's just on average. For every new video, right? And that's from videos that get, you know, 500, 300 ish views, right? And if you keep on that, eventually, eventually, you will rack up enough subscribers and. The way it works is a sort of uh, how do I call this? How do I call this? It's a it's a square function. <laughs> if that makes any sense, if you are familiar with math concepts at all, Captain Jack, Captain Jack. If you are familiar with any square functions at all, it is you know an exponential increase, right? You get more videos, you get more subscribers, and whichever you know people come on to your channel will be more likely to subscribe to you because they will see that you have a lot of subscribers and you have a lot of videos meaning that you are a sort of you know competent enough content creator captain jack as in like jack sparrow but you know his stuff is space engineers captain jack so anyway as i was saying it is an exponential increase. The more videos you have, the more subs you have. The people visiting your channel will be more likely to sub again to you, right? Because they see that you have content and you... Okay, all of that probably misses. Nope. I take it back. It didn't. <laughs> nope. Because you have content and stuff. Yeah, yeah. This is taking a while. Can you, can you stand still? Okay, load it. Deep, thank you. There we go. Okay, come on, let's just keep going. <laughs> just, there's nothing much to do but, you know, just chat. So anyway. Also, you have, you, you have to set yourself goals, that's what I... Ah. But I need to um, also, you know, look out for myself. Try to do. I, I really need to set clear goals when it comes to constant, constant con content creation. What I meant to say was constant content creation. Where I am consistent about making it consistent with my schedule, consistent with the content, consistent with the quality. Right. Where's the, where's the head? The head. Where's that? Missed the head. Okay, he's just going to do that. Whatever then. I'll just keep doing this. You need to have a, you know, let's see, consistent upload schedule. Because, you know, humans are creatures of habit, right? They will get used to their um, preferred content creators uploading at a particular time of the week. For some people it's twice a week, for some people it's once a week. Whichever you find more comfortable or more feasible for the length and effort and quality of the content that you put out, right? Usually more effort, longer content, more quality means you put out less frequently as opposed to more regularly if you can if you have the kind of content that's easier to make, right? As long as you can upload consistently, that's key. Now, what this also achieves is that you will, over time, 
discover or find a proper niche or find a proper rhythm to the kind of content that you make you will get better and better at it over time tomorrow I might be able to play with you I hmm. that depends that depends that depends I may not be able to play tomorrow just because of my schedule I have a very awkward schedule having a full-time job it is you know you know how it is <laughs> And then just playing video games for a hobby. It's it's a challenge to find the time to find the time to play games. Okay, now what? Now it's just standing there. Now it's just standing there. What what the hell am I even supposed to do with this? Anyway, so but anyway, what I'm guaranteed to do is play next week. Either Wednesday or Oh! Okay, that was scary. Either Wednesday or Friday in, you know, Southeast Asia time or wherever you are, that will be GMT plus 8 for reference, right? Okay, I don't even... See, this is the problem. We technically don't have to do anything here other than just wait for him to get up here and do something. What is it? What is even the trigger to force him to move faster? I I don't know. I don't know. Not even the speedrunners though, because they just they don't bother. They don't bother. They don't try to hack it, glitch it, which they are want to do. You know, speedrunners will always somehow find the most obscure glitch to do <laughs> some of the most well-designed games. Anyway, like how how the hell do they even do that? I don't know. But for some reason, at this particular level, they couldn't even do it. What's the target's condition? The target's con Still not weak enough to capture, sir. I mean, not weak enough to capture. We've pumped several, we've thrown several metric tons of iron into this thing. What do you mean it's not weak enough? What do you mean? Damn it. Okay. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on. Pain of my existence. Pain of my existence. What's worse is that we have to deal with this again. But to be fair, the second Zora Magos quest is nowhere near as annoying, right? It's nowhere near as annoying. At least at the second part of that quest, you you have a bit more proactivity, right? You have a bit more proactivity to dictate the pace of the quest. So it's not that bad. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank freaking God. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what we should have been doing this entire time? We should have just been farming these Arnos. Guy. No, no, he's not dead. Hitching post. Hitching post. You can do it! Okay, yeah, yeah, I know I can do it. Technically, I don't have to do anything, but yeah, I can no, do it. No. Okay. What we could do Water here back, instead Give us some orders. is the try to maximize the cells. stuff, Those the resources we can manage to, um... Ouch! Okay. That's bullshit. That's bullshit that that hit me. That is absolute bullshit. We can't even... Ah... Uh... Okay, there we go. Nice. Uh, crystal monster you hate? Okay, okay. Um, here's the thing. I hate several, actually. I had several, but one particular archetype, archetype is that what you describe as the um, T-Rex monsters, right? But not all of them. Not all of them. Anjanath is fine with me. Anjanath is fine. Anjanath is not that big a problem. The problem is the other ones. For example... Oh shit, that still hits me up there. Okay, what? 
Let's do it. Anjanath isn't the problem. What is the problem is the likes of Devil Joe, the likes of Bracky Dios. The reason is they have too much mobility, too much speed for their size and for their hitboxes. Oh, no, back off. For their size, for their hitboxes. So it gets to a point where it feels entirely unfair where this monster that is 10 times your size also manages to be much faster than you are <laughs> which is annoying and it feels really unfair to deal with but that's about all i'll say about that otherwise you know otherwise it's kind of uh, a matter of skill issue but yeah that's how i feel about them that's how i feel about them so the examples are devil joe bracket deals to some level i don't hate um, Glavinus and its variants. Okay, back off. Glavinus and its variants. Um, specifically, it's just it's just Devil Joe and you know Brachydios. Like I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Devil Joe or Lesion? Okay. Oh, that's tough. Um, I think, well, okay, technically since both of them are optional, it's not as egregious, right? It's not, they're, they're not as egregious because you can just not deal with them. Because they are technically not essential, right, to the campaign, to the main story. But at some point, you will have to deal with them at some point. Which is the problem. I think, all in all, I think. Ah! Ah, it's so tough. I think Lesion is worse. <laughs> all of that, all of that, just to say. Lesion is technically worse. In my opinion. In my opinion. Right? Because Lesion. Um. He has this mechanic where he summons up vines where it completely blocks um, certain angles of attack if you don't have a specific ability that the game gives you which is the um, fire fire magic thing you kind of need that or some other kind of um, some other kind of fire ability just to deal with it or behemoth I haven't actually bothered to fight behemoth too often Huh. And then I think about it. Behemoth is also pretty pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. Pretty egregious. But I haven't bothered to even try him. Strange, strange. I actually want to go back on a different, you know, one of my um older saves. One of my more developed saves. And try to fight Behemoth and form an opinion about him. Because I tried fighting him once. I did not enjoy it whatsoever, and I gave up, and I completely forgot to fight him ever again. <laughs> Which, you will understand, right? It makes sense, it makes sense. Okay, so while we are up here, meteors are OP. Yes, yes, throughout, the, throughout the, that entire time, I have not figured, I have not figured out a way to, um, deal with those effectively can I get my barbecue going no doesn't want to let me Wait long. ah yeah technically over here so supplies okay nice potion that's it no rations no nothing okay okay whatever okay fam <laughs> okay very useful very helpful thank you very much thank you very much long as this guy doesn't dip his dead downward uh, we should be fine Ooh. 
Okay, okay. This is a lot of damage that I'm doing right now. He's still managing to, you know, not be phased whatsoever. Now, this is this isn't one of those magma cores that explode. This is this is fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm okay with this. There we go. Finally, we managed it. Oh, there we go. No, 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 no. Do not throw me off. Do not throw me off, sir. Do not throw me off. Get me out. Get me out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we managed to survive that. Yes, yes, meet yours. That is a one-shot move. That is what we in the business call unfair game design. <laughs> we have a move that is impossible to counterplay, but also one-shots you, which is dumb. I mean, the fact alone that it one-shots you is also outright unfair, and the fact alone that it has so, so little counterplay is also unfair. It's bad, right? I guess I should know what bad design, bad game design looks like. We are dealing with an example of it right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, no hate though, no hate. Monster Hunter is still an amazing game. Oh no, no, no! He's going to splooge on me. He's going to splooge on me. Okay. And I should dodge it. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Okay, um, get that out. Ah, oh, we don't even have access to um. There we go. I mean, that works. Ah, finally. Finally. Oh, shit. Yeah, we, you, we will take damage from that. Help me out. Give sec, one more. That's not helpful. Let's do this again. That's not helpful. Again. <laughs> no. Give me number one. Number one, please. Number one. There we go. About goddamn time. Okay, I had no okay. angle to dodge that with. Whew. Oh, ouch, 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 Monster Hunter World is good? Yes, yes, it is. Despite me complaining for the last, you know, hour and a half, this is one of the better games that I have played ever in my lifetime. And I mean that. I mean that. Okay? And I have been playing games most of my life, all the way from childhood. Oh, no, I got stunned. All the way I got stunned. Not, not yet, actually. Believe it or not. This is the first time, this is my first introduction to Monster Hunter. I've played Capcom games before, I've played Devil May Cry. i played Devil May Cry 5. And when I played Devil May Cry 5, I was convinced that game was also one of the greatest games I have ever played. Okay. Ever. Right? But I mean it when I say, this game is pretty damn cool too. Okay, that still hits me. Damn. Damn. Best we can do is just end this as quickly as possible. Oh boy. Oh my god, and it still explodes on me. Wonderful. Good job. Good job. Good job, game. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh boy. I'm out of HP. How the hell did this happen? You're Rojang? I do not know who Rojang is. I do not know who that is. Forgive me if I seem like a Luddite to you. I am not familiar with these um, people you mentioned. It's okay though, it's okay. Uh, I, t I recall definitely at some point Nergigante will show up at some point during this quest. Right? He's bound to. I I know this for a fact. But you know, since he's decided not to show up yet. Zoramagros has reached the second barrier! About All goddamn right, time. This beast. Ready your one shot finders. Okay. Oh, 
Bojang. Ah, you mean Bojat? Are you okay? Was, well, here's the thing. Some games, right? Some games definitely will provide you with a challenge. A good design, or oh, rather, a good sign, a good marker of a good game that is, you know, designed properly, designed great, designed fairly, is that you can fight one obstacle, or one level, or one monster from a game, and it gives you a challenge without that challenge feeling unfair. Right? For a lot of the time, for most of the monsters, this game achieves that very, very well. Okay. Can you can you stand still? Can you stand still? Okay. There we go. Ah, there we go. Thank you. Thank you, Courage. There we are. Ooh, okay, okay. There we go. That's nice. That's nice. Good. We managed to complete. Okay. We managed to complete all three very quickly. Okay, can you not track my camera? Let's see, hello? What's going to happen? Okay. <laughs> Come on. Back in position now. Oh my god. Please tell me. Please tell me this is over. Fire. Okay. I feel like that is dangerous. You are shooting dangerously close to me. Yeah. That was I don't know that I can shoot that decision on. Oh boy. Favorite place. In terms of level design, in terms of level design, I feel like Ancient Forest is the best one. Specifically because of the um, verticality of that level, of the places, of the jungle, right? By verticality, I mean you can go up to different elevations and they all have, one way or another, have access to each other. Meaning you can go from uh, one part of the ancient forest fall off and end up in a completely different part of the ancient forest, right? That's verticality, and it allows you to um sort of approach combat in interesting ways that would allow you to leverage the um strengths and advantages of whatever particular weapon you are wearing, or at the very least, um circumvent the weaknesses, right? Because, for example, like Kinsey Glaive and Kinsey Glaive and Sword and Shield, these two particular weapons are lend themselves particularly easy to be able to mount because they have built-in boosts that allow you to do so, right? They allow you to get on top of the monster, fall on it, deal damage, thus giving you access to the mount mechanic. Other weapons don't have that built-in. Other weapons need you to go up on a, on a on a ledge, on a higher elevation, jump down, hit the monster, in order for you to get that mount, right? And verticality allows you to do that. Better access to verticality allows you to do so, and that's good. Can't wait until Iceborne goes on sale. Yes, yes, it is absolutely worth it. For <laughs> for what it is, Iceborne. Is only slightly more expensive than Hun Monster Hunter World, but the thing is, Iceborne has more content than World, which is insane to me. That people used to make games like this, where you have the base game, which is in in and of itself incredible as it is, and then you have an expansion DLC that is longer and bigger. And somehow more fun than the base game. However, I've got some good tectonic movement that fissure. Like how? How is that even possible? How is that even possible? 
People don't well, make games do like that anymore. Like, at least the triple A section, right? The, the, way they are. the triple A section expects you to pay seventy dollars for a game that get. isn't complete. That has problems Beam, on launch. That requires you to also be online. That has DLC that needs you to micro purchase. But anyway, I will get to that rant on a different <laughs> on a different occasion. Right? How big? Oh yes, health booster. Hey, nice. Partner. How big is Lava Dragon? From the estimate, from that is I I'm sure there's a, some wiki article that is you know establishes the sort of canonical size and mass of Zora Magdos. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there I'm sure there exists one, right? I just don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> if I had to guess. Uh, the size of it relative to the hunter, like head to tail, head to tail, it's probably the size of the Statue of Liberty. You know what? You know what? I'm going to go look, look it up right now, right now, right now. So, <laughs> Magdoral's size. How big are you? It says roughly 258 meters. Right? How tall is that? <laughs> um, in comparison? Like, relative to what? Hmm. It's hard to visualize just raw numbers, but what? How big is he, though? You can go to that guy that is, that is on the books. Oh, right, right. That's a good point. Well, well. 250 when it says 250 meters on its own it's difficult to judge without a point of reference right that height you might know the height but it's hard to um, imagine or conceptualize that size out of just the raw number new products in stock you need some sort of uh, some sort of reference so here we go we're going to look for it we're going to look for it Uh, how am I those size? Comparison? I just search for this. I just search for this. Okay, images. Images. How big is this guy? How big is this guy? Relative to anything else. Oh, here we go. Here's a good thing. Um, how do I do this with OBS? I will do a. I will add a browser capture. Uh, okay. Then, let's see. No, you know what? Cancel that. Let's not do browser capture. Let's do window capture. Win window capture instead. This is giant. Yes, yes, it is. I think I have one here. Okay. You see this? You see this on screen, right? On the right side, that is Zora Magdos, and that is a full skyscraper right next to it. I guess that is the size comparison. I don't know how accurate this is, or how fair this is, right? In terms of, you know, real-life reference point. But I think yeah, that answers your question. <laughs> he, he is as big as a skyscraper, essentially. Essentially. So, let's just get rid of that. And I think... That's all for now. I have to I have to take a break. Okay. Take a break. Relax my throat because it is on fire right now. I'm not joking. It feels like it is on fire. I need to drink water. Or relax my vocal cords. <laughs> and then just take a break. Because I have to be recording with another crew in 30 minutes. So anyway. We made we made decent progress, I think. I think. Because after this, head to the Great Ravine. Um the next uh, group of monsters we will be fighting will be Diablos, I think. Diablos is also a nasty piece of work, but we'll get to it when we get to it. Okay, so anyway, it is it is nice. 300 feet about. Yes, yes, it did say in the um, wiki, right? On the websites, on the Googles, that is about 250 plus. Let's check here. Does it say? Does it say? Yep, it says here. 
Uh, I don't know. Monster field guide. Large, large monster. Oh, it doesn't say. <laughs> we don't have enough info on it yet. But it did say on the website that it's about 250 plus. 250 plus, so there you go. That answers your question. Anyway, uh, it has been nice. It has been nice hanging out with you. Thank you very much, Kirian, for hanging out with me all throughout the rest of this stream. I appreciate it very much. Uh, I hope to see you next time. I will set up the schedule for the um, next session. More or less the same time, same date next week. Which is, you know, plus 8 GMT at 10 or 11-ish PM. So, anyway, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. And I'll see you next time. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, bye, 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 bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>